All right, episode 42, TJ Martino podcast. And man, we got a doozy today. <laughs> uh, packed house tonight. Uh, really nice night. And uh, back with some old friends from college. Many old, many familiar faces, a lot of new faces here. So uh, I guess we got some like main guests and then we got other guys that are chilling here playing some pool in the background that'll jump in. So it's just going to be kind of like a crazy hodgepodge kind of show. I got my freaking Jawa hoodie on. We're about to get after it. Uh, no, but you know, just, I guess to kind of introduce ish the people that are here, you know, we got Alex Canatano in the house, you know, recurring guest. Yup. I'm back. Everybody back on the show. Uh, third time on the pod and yeah, just, you know, happy to be back. Yeah. We're just, you know, having some beers. Austin Adams in the house Cheers. from episode four. And Glad to be beyond. back. Glad to be back. Actually his third also. Third, so we're tired. Third time on the TJ pod. And then we have... Ryan Sabo, Hello. new guest. Yeah, first time coming on, mm. popping my cherry. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for having me. No problem. Thanks for having bleeder. me. Yeah, yeah welcome we got, to the house. Yeah, the, we got the, the fight, makeshift bro. studio set up here. You know, hope everything looks fine-ish. But yeah, I mean, we can just kind of BS it and see where it goes. But I also have, uh, you know, I guess a top list for top list season that we can also go through today and that is uh the headlines of the year so this will just be kind of weird funny headlines that i found that we can just kind of talk about but first i mean you know we just watched a great football game not really not eagles fly eagles fly a preseason a pre-season game. game it was yeah. a preseason it, game and this is my thing Dak prescott career high tutties yeah five my thing is, is with this what do you guys think about 17 weeks in the nfl pointless like, what do you well, think about, like, uh, th- this experiment? 18 weeks. Who does it really 18 benefit? 17, 17 games. games. Yeah. yeah. I think it's bullshit because it throws off the it benefits, even number of games we used to have. It benefits, it, awesome. it benefits the NFL and the TV ratings. Yeah, but, like, the, the players got to hate it. Not the yeah. ratings, yeah. the money. Game. It's all for money. Yeah. yeah. Before playoffs? They hated it right away. A lot right of them away. don't even matter? They hated it right away. I mean, I think yeah, the thing no, is, the like, NFL PA was against it from the Especially with the games on Saturdays, they got the shortened week. Last time to recover. Especially for the, well, no, it's it. It's a longer week then, if you're playing on if Saturday. You play Sunday and then you play Saturday the next week. Oh, I, oh, oh, yeah. I well, can't do math, yeah. so. Yeah. Never no, mind. I was just gonna say that, like, with it, I think it's just like they're basically just putting the fourth week of the preseason and attaching it to like the end of the season, and it's just yeah. like kind of like this awkward buffer because like most of the playoff spots in the NFC are filled up, and like the AFC is like kind of like I guess there's like one. It's like there's one, one spot, game right? that matters available. this week, right? And it's like what is it like the um. And then uh, Bennett mentioned this on a stream I was doing the other night. But like, what what is what's the deal with the uh, the Chargers and the Raiders? Is it like if they if they tie the Jags? Have no, no, to no. Win. If if the Jaguars beat the Colts, then yeah. if they tie, then they both make. The if playoffs. the Jaguars beat the Colts, then if the Raiders and Chargers tie, they're both yeah. in. But you said they can't do that. But they can't. There's a commissioner's clause that allows the commissioner to. Um, give them both forfeits if they don't try and win. Wait, if so they he both thinks, lose then? yeah, they both get. That is such a Goodell a, a move, loss. bro. That yeah. is such a Goodell, right? There. You know, he so probably, you know, yeah. he'd, be, he'd be, yeah, yeah he for sure would. He's looking to do it. He yeah. hopes that like the Jaguars win so he can do it. I know. Well, no, it, but I said, I said the last team that has the ball, like after the kneel off, would just like uh, fake a kneel down, casually and score, then, and then throw a bomb, like a fake kneel, and then score. Just to I fuck know. over their rival. Because they are division see, rivals. I would love to see Collinsworth and uh, Al Michaels just try and call that game. I, th- I think I said this earlier tonight, but like that would just be that that like that's the thing. I think the ratings will go up for this game if they if if they actually get in that scenario, just simply because people want to see what's yeah. gonna happen with that. Like, it would, are they really gonna just throw the game? It would never happen again. Yeah, because I mean, like that. If they did that, and I guess, like, do you think that's a product of it being like an uneven number now for like no. total games? Like, no, I don't think so. I think it's just it, like the crazy possibility. It's just the math, just the math yeah. of the, division of the games scenarios. Are still the same. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. like it's still six division players. games. That's true. But they added a a non conference game. Like game seventeen is is a non conference game. Well, no, because aren't, aren't the Chargers and the uh, Raiders in the same? Well, yeah, no, but that game would have happened anyways. Oh, you said conference, not yeah. division? Yeah, okay. non-conference. Yeah. So, like, the Browns' extra game was the Cardinals. Right, right, right. And so, like, I guess it doesn't matter that much for playoff seeding. Like, a game does matter, but it wouldn't matter as much, like, as, like, an extra division game or, mm. or an extra conference game. But whatever. 
Yeah, it's just like it's gonna be interesting to see like the type of scenarios that come from this like new system, and it's like that's like a kind of a slept on rule like rule change. Honestly, like yeah, not enough no, people big. I feel it's like big. are talking about it. Like they should really like highlight the differences of that it makes throughout the game. Yeah, this they week. should. Like like without this game, what would be the outcome? Right. Well, well but it would have been a different schedule then. Like yeah, the, one game. Well, but the last week is always all divisional games. Mm-hmm. So then, like, they would have played those games earlier then. So, so mm, it would have been true. a different order of games then. Mm. But whatever. Like, yeah. Like, I get what you're saying. Not to shit on your parade or <laughs> yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, <laughs> Ryan. Right. Yeah. Sorry. I know more about the get scheduling the nuances <laughs> of the league than you, bro. Nah, but, like, yeah. It's, I have, like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about, like, these, like, drastic rule changes. Like, even... Even like I like the one they did in the NBA though with the shooting fouls and like yeah. how they made it where like yeah that's good that, 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 that was such a cheese like and it has exposed like guys like James Harden, Harden yeah, and, like Trey Young and like those guys that like just bait fouls and even totally. Joel Embiid on like some levels even though he does a lot more inside and yeah you know, no I was, was surprised it, it was to see it seemed thing. like I saw Damian Lillard was having a really hard start to the season and it seemed like that was affecting him he's hurt too though. Well, yeah, now, yeah. but I remember yeah, like right. it being he, like a big topic. In the he beginning was sucking. Of the, year. the team was bad him too. And, him and Harden were, were sucking ass at mm-hmm. the start of the season. Yeah, Harden couldn't do anything. Yeah, he looked good though. He's starting to look better. I mean, like, it, yeah, the Nets. The Nets, I just don't buy defensively at all. But I mean, the thing is, like, the shooting, especially like Kyrie and like all that. If he can It's he comes so back, weird like, gonna that be they're gonna be nasty. Well, he's back half, but like, it's so weird now that yeah. in the playoffs. <laughs> They're just gonna have him for like they want to be the lower seed, three right. yeah, out of they, four yeah. games. Yeah, so well, no, they're but, but would that continue through the playoffs? You think? Yes, or? any home game he can't play he can't at play home. In Brooklyn. Well, yeah, but like or New York for the playoffs. Like, would they? It's ease gonna up? continue. Would, no, would they ease up it's a, a bit? it's a it's a rule. It's like, like a Mexican it, it can't standoff. Change. Yeah, depends like, on how much money he's making them. Yeah, so that someone pointed out like that they want to get the lower seed. It's crazy because. He would play. F- they'd have four away games technically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That four he games could play with Kyrie. In. Yeah. So they would want the six. Yeah. Uh, to avoid the play-in tournament, and then still be on the I road. I forgot about the play-in. Yeah. I thought that was only like a COVID bubble thing. Though. I thought so too, but they're doing it this year. They're doing it again. Yeah. I don't uh, like it. I don't. I don't like I, it either. I, kinda, I mean, I like it because it's more I basketball yeah. and it's a lot uh, like highly competitive yeah, more so high than the regular season, but. But usually, like the ten seed has no business like in the playoffs. Right, it's like, right. It's, like it's like a team always under five hundred. Right, like, like with basketball, yeah, because there's just like there's a perfect number of teams where you like yeah. just enough eight on eight. Yeah, need to make it like because like the, especially like in the East for some time there it was just like every team was trash and it was like your teams were losing records were getting in the playoffs like this was like I'm saying like during like the LeBron like mm-hmm. Cavs era yeah. like we're like Heat era we're like literally like. Losing teams were getting in just in like the no, West dude. was just an absolute grinder, but now it's like kind of evened out. Like guys like Giannis and like KD now going to the East and like, yeah, dude, it wasn't. Embiid, obviously, you think yeah. the East and it wasn't West are just... a lot more balanced now with the teams out there? Yeah, now? for sure. It seems for sure. way Absolutely. more balanced. I think so. Yeah, but I, to like ten years ago, yeah. I still mm-hmm. say the West is is better like at the top because they yeah. got the three headed monster, the Warriors, Suns, and the Jazz. Yeah, the Jazz but dude, are pretty good. Uh, to go back to your point <laughs> about like bad teams <laughs> in the East in the playoffs. It wasn't just like the eight seed, like dude, like anything after like the five, right? Was, like that's what under I'm saying. five, yeah, like, the bottom three teams, brutal, were all losing brutal. records, like yeah, it really but got then, to that point. And then like the play in again, so like if 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 ten teams from each conference have a shot at the playoffs, that's twenty teams, that's that's two thirds of the league has yeah. had, like has a shot at the playoffs, right. like that's that's too much. And yeah, that's it, way it, too it much. should be one third of the league, like you know, yeah, like, like the NFL, yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah, and I but I like how the NFL is like making it where only one team has a first round bye. Though, cause, I, I like, don't. That's I, kind of a big deal because like that was kind of the thing. It, it made it kind of silly towards the end of the year because like you know the, you did the, you could still have like a twelve and four record or whatever and still mm-hmm. have you know the t- and, and still have a home playoff game and, and a first round bye even though you weren't the top seed. So I like how they yeah. like, incentivize. I I think the two deserves a bye. That's just me, really? but yeah, no, I think the two is is a an accomplishment. Like right now, like probably the Chiefs are going to be the two, yeah, and they deserve a bye, I think. Yeah, maybe I, I you know, I, I don't know. I think it's interesting. Yeah. But then, wouldn't one more team have to make the playoffs? Yes, which can't happen. Right, it can't be eight. But <laughs> no, yeah. So I'm I'm against the uh, third wild card. Then I guess mm-hmm. in in theory. Yeah. Wow. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> hates so, hates yeah. football. Hates free football. I hate playoffs, bro. I hate the talks himself I hate the into play it. In. I hate the seven seed. Generic Browns fan. Yeah, but the Browns were the six last year, so we w- uh, so we would have made it anyways. Mm-hmm. I've, I've had that debate before. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. You guys yeah. would have made it last year. No, we would have. We were the six. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, you Browns didn't make it last year? No, oh, we, we did. did. Yeah, we did. No, oh. we were eleven and five. Yeah, we that's right. Six. Yeah, I thought they were had an anomaly year. Yeah, yeah. we were eleven and five last year. You were eleven yeah. and five. Wow. And won a playoff game. Beat the fuck out of Pittsburgh. That was a great game. Damn. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. You yeah. guys beat Pittsburgh too. Yeah, our Super Bowl. And then it was Kansas City, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They lost to Kansas Moral City, victory. right? Yeah, without yeah. Mahomes because uh, he was concussed in the. Was yeah, it, and was it the second quarter? What's his wow? What's his oh face? Oh my god, Mac Wilson. No, I think it was the third quarter. Sorensen with the targeting on Higgins on the oh line to fumble into, our, into the end zone. Stupidest rule in sports, man. Hater, hater, Alex is back again. That rule yeah. sucks. Yeah, that we should dive, we should divert what this. Rule? Yeah, <laughs> we, need, we need to stay <laughs> you, away from Browns. If you football. if you fumble into into the end zone and it and oh, it goes out of bounds. Yeah. It's touchback oh, for, the other, that, yeah. for the other team. Like, yeah, I remember that guy you got Like, they bad. don't recover that. It like, was targeting, it, 100%. It was targeting also. But, yeah, The Chiefs whatever. aren't going to get we a lost, targeting call. Whatever. Yeah. Especially at home. <laughs> that yeah. was when Mahomes was still in the game, though. Who was the backup QB that came in? I can never remember. Any. Um, Chad Yeah, Henny. yeah. And he got, he rushed, he rushed for, like, 15, 15 yards. Yeah. Legend. First down to, to seal it. No, that's funny. No, he was... It was fourth and one, and they ran that play to Tyreek Hill, like that, like, uh, like motion across the formation, like short Speaking little. Speaking of which, it's happening right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah same shit that's play. on the screen right now. Yeah, yeah, those little shuffle passes. But no, I mean, like Chad Henney got like uh, sixteen yards on like third and seventeen or whatever. They were using Tyreek we as to a, get the ball back. Decoy all the all night tonight against the Broncos. He, was hurt. he got hurt in pregame warmups. Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah. yeah, is that what happened? Yeah, he only played twelve snaps. Yeah, he pulled his hamstring. This kid played well. Did dude, he? I thought he hurt his ankle. One. McKinnon, he played. I thought it was well. hamstring. Dude, Austin, we were talking in the weird. chat how the Chiefs have like a rant, like a random player every Bro, week. D- like Robinson and Nico out. Hardman have been nice for Byron a long Cr- time. The, no, the they've Chiefs, always been nice, but like they have Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey. The Chiefs, they've always been fast. All they are is fast. The Chiefs have. The Chiefs yeah. have... They play their role. They have Travis Kelsey, and then they have four different versions of Tyreek. Yeah. <laughs> right. And it's and it's a different guy every week who's, like, burning somebody. They, they're insanely, that play was awesome. They're insanely yeah. fast. Yeah. They're short. You're right. And that's it. They do have Josh Gordon, moves. but got, he, obviously, yeah. like, that's yeah, random. He doesn't even play that much, though. No. He doesn't and, make an and impact, And they all got really. moves. They're all shifty as fuck. Like, you, like you can't tackle those guys. Yeah, I'm Michael pretty, Hardman. I'm pretty sure they're going to the Super Bowl again. I agree. Really? You were going to sure. say that? Yeah. I agree. Why yeah. would they not? Who's going to beat them? Who's going to beat them? The exactly. Uh, are they I NFC? I said they no, go. They're NFC. Uh, I said they go to the Super Bowl. I think the Packers. The Chiefs are going to win the AFC. I like Tennessee against them. I don't think so. I don't. I, like, I, don't, I don't trust Tennessee. Especially with Derrick Henry back. If the Bills can get their shit run. together with their running game and their yeah. defense. Well, the Bills. Their defense is sick. The Bills should, but the Bills kind of choke. So They do choke. I don't know. Well, it depends. Going really, based off depends. the past in, couple years, I would just say that the Chiefs kick it into Chiefs high gear right and they now. make it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. The Chiefs when they're hot, like Especially you don't want to play that. Started, yeah, no, they were playing now. They were three and four. Everybody was like, "Oh my God, Mahomes sucks!" Like the league finally figured yeah. out the Chiefs. <laughs> it was like, and then and then like they went eight fault. in a row. Yeah, they were like three the and four, and people like and people were like. Oh, the Chiefs aren't even gonna make the playoffs. Right, like it's right. over for them. And I was like, Settle no, because it down. was it was their defense too. Their defense sucked. They were, yeah, they they were terrible. Yeah. Their defense but still isn't a, that great. No, it, it is good now. They went on a run of like like six games in a row where they uh, gave up like ten or less. It was like an NFL record. Like sneaky, like no one was paying attention. Like they just they've been balling out. Yeah. Except tonight, they were getting beat up a little bit tonight. Yeah, I guess they still the beat the Broncos. Yeah. Drew Locke, baby. Yeah, yeah, Drew Locke, Mr. Yeah. Volatility. <laughs> but yeah, I actually like the idea though of, of another uh, playoff, another playoff game though, like and and the next team though. I I get like yeah. the arguments against it though, like is yeah, it it just kind of is unnecessary, but and especially like adding. Well, like imagine they I, do I that said, instead of adding the seventeenth game. Yeah, yeah, true. That's true. One or the other. How about yeah? Not both. 
Right. But I like, think both is like, just too I can, drastic. I can bitch and moan all I want right now, but then like as soon as the wild card round comes around, I'm like, fuck yeah, we got we got an extra <laughs> extra two games. This is yeah. awesome. Because it used to be just four. Now it's six, which is sweet. And the Monday night game also. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you guys want to get into the headline of the year? Let's, Let's get into it. it. Headlines of the year. All right. So top list. Uh, this one's not ranked, though, so there won't be any numbers or anything. But, you know, we're going to do uh, just headlines that I found throughout the year that I found to just be really funny. Um, yeah. Nothing too crazy, but just silly. Starting with the first one. This is from the BBC News. Everybody's famous, favorite British... Uh, oh, I thought it was something else. Publication, <laughs> I guess you could call it. Go ahead. The headline is from May 28th, 2021. And it is... Harambe. Gorilla oh photo God. to be sold as <laughs> NFT five years after he was shot dead. Oh, my God. Dude... Dude, the only thing I have to say is now that is not a board ape. Right where, <laughs> where would we be as a society without Harambe? Cincinnati legend. Where would we without NFTs, dude? We Harambe literally changed the course of like history. Like everything after Harambe seemed to have gone like down the shitter. Like and Harambe, <laughs> the internet. Harambe seemed like. The domino that fell <laughs> to start this chain reaction of all this crazy shit. Like, cars I don't right think now. that 2020 has like the same rep it does without Harambe <laughs> starting that like four years early. Like I don't know, Harambe. Think, uh, Harambe, Harambe was yeah. such a defining moment, and it changed the path of history. Like insane. Like I think it's just the ripple effect. Harambe's death was the beginning of the fall of, of society. I, I think so. Maybe, but it also you could argue that Harambe's increased, death. Yeah, it increased the quality of memes. Yes, Harambe. Oh, but dude, rest like, in peace, that's Harambe. That's the most meme thing ever to sell Harambe as an NFT. As an NFT. <laughs> Did it thought, actually get sold, though? Like, did somebody make money off I that? would imagine, yeah. Yeah, the article says... People uh, buy whatever the hell photo, you sell. Photo of the gorilla Harambe is being auctioned off as a non-fungible token to mark five years since he was killed. He sold his art. <laughs> so they're going to be like... Wow. Yeah, annual just, sellings like every ten years, fifteen years of this. this a new mint for yeah, Harambe. A new mint. Yeah, and how, uh, there's got to be sixty nine editions. <laughs> <laughs> no, four hundred and twenty. Anyway. Yo, where's, uh, where's the NFT for the kid who went into the, into the exhibit? Yeah, yeah seriously. Yeah. Where's he today? <laughs> right. Where's that's, he? That's what you can get. Yeah. You get Harambe, yeah. but you also get a bonus NFT of the kid yeah. and, the, and the shooter. <laughs> no, the shooter. <laughs> the shooter. <laughs> we have to figure out where that kid is today. Yeah. He's probably in the secrets. We, we he's probably in the, witness protection. He's probably in witness protection. Yeah. Yeah. He had to move he to like Wyoming. Wants, <laughs> he had to go underground after yeah. that, bro. Everybody was all pissed off at him. Yeah. <laughs> But crazy story about Harambe. Five days before Harambe was killed, we went with, uh, we had like a little thing with like little first graders from a high school down, uh, from a middle school downtown. And we basically would like go there and like, you know, tutor them and stuff on math and stuff. And for the last thing we did, it was like a, uh, a field trip. And we went to the zoo, the Cincinnati Zoo. And we went to the gorilla exhibit. And I remember five days before Harambe was killed, we were at the gorilla exhibit. And, um, uh, we were looking at the names on the list and like we just read them off and like I read off Harambe because he was there and uh, my friend said to me he said how deep how like we looked off like the edge and you like down below was like where the river was where the kid jumped in and I was like how how far down do you think that is he's like I don't know probably 15 feet I'm like you think you, he's like do you think you'd die though if you jumped off that and I'm like I don't know if you'd die but you'd probably break your legs or something and then like literally five days five later, days later kid goes down in there and oh gets harassed by a, a gorilla <laughs> He really? wasn't. He was harassing how, how the Harambe. Harambe had no bad intentions. No, he was. Dude, he, ah, he, it was all I natural. I don't know about that. Oh, oh, is that falling off? Oh yeah, we had a. Oh shit! Hang on, I'll fix it. Okay. Malfunctions. Technical um, difficulties. Yeah. You just guys keep the conversation going. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but no, but I like. I mean, okay, so like, hate me all you want, but like, that guy definitely should have shot Harambe. I don't know. You can't like you can't risk like like a life of a like a baby no, like you're a probably, human toddler like You're probably right. You're probably there's right. a bunch of gorillas out there, dude, like You're probably right, but yeah. also like natural selection. I don't yeah, for I sure, don't want for you sure. to be right, but actually actually like, if anything they should have shot the kid's mom. Yes. 
if anybody should have got shot, <laughs> for being, I mean, for like, being yeah, a bad mom. Election, but, like, you can't blame the kid. No, you cannot you blame the kid. You, supervising this child. You, that's why they should have got shot, bro, because you're not doing a good job watching your kid. Like, where was, where was, where was CCP? Where was Charles? Gray, where, where's, where's, CCP? where's the, where's the Cincinnati yeah. Zoo police? <laughs> Sorry about this. No, you're good. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Okay, while TJ is away, you uh, welcome to the Alex Canatano podcast, <laughs> episode 42. <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Burke Gonzalez. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. we got our first ad read from from <laughs> from yeah, Preferred Coin. <laughs> <laughs> you're leading uh, Austin, Texas, eight, eight t- uh uh, Bitcoin ATM company. At at Preferred Coin, we specialize in customer service and providing the best. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we. That's our ad read, dude. Preferred Don't worry, coin. we got we got Kingdom of the Seas coming up next. <laughs> now that's why I need a producer. <laughs> Just kidding. Not there yet. <laughs> okay, we're back. All right. Anyway. Oh, we have some people sitting down to listen. Oh. Now. Oh yeah. With their yeah if anybody game. wants to sit here, they can. Uh, we have Rob and T. We had a peanut gallery out here Um, now. Anyway, next article we have is from Center for Family and Human Rights. It says, UNICEF report says pornography not always harmful to children. Thank God we have that order. Well, it's not harmful. It helps them. Like They get pleasure off it, so that can't be harmful. Healthy sexual expectations. Yeah, we got some corny-ass kids out here sometimes. It says, uh, report was published by UN Children's Fund addresses how government policy can be used to protect children from harmful, abusive, and violent content online by introducing them to porn. <laughs> All right, but yeah, it's it very... goes on to talk about this. I bet there's more to it, but I just thought the headline was funny. As an advocate for <laughs> semen retention, TJ, what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, big time anti-porn guy. <laughs> porn yeah, I don't, I don't have much on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. This is from uh, Study Finds. It's uh, from June 22nd, 2021, so a little bit before my birthday. Uh, it says, Happy being birthday. fat but fit really is impossible. Doctor says term is misleading, should be avoided. All right, how do you explain offensive linemen? Yeah. They're fat uh, and they're probably good w- way better, more fit than like But they're like majority. not, but they're like not actually fat though. They're big. They're, Some of them are fat. Some are fat. Some, and yeah. then they stopped playing, like Joe Thomas stopped playing in the NFL. And, and he lost got like ripped. 75 pounds in fuck. like six months. Yeah. But well, they have fat. to put on a lot of fat. Well, no, like, but they have like a, like a special diet. They have, diet. Diet. They have like a bit. diet plan. They have yeah. literal but, requirements of how much they yeah. eat. I'm pretty sure it's in their contract. Bro, it's like, it's like 85,000 calories a day they got to eat, bro. Yeah, yeah 85,000. Like, sure. <laughs> that sounds like death. <laughs> Just kidding. But, but yeah, no, but like, I mean. Remember, remember if you, those? If you. Uh, JJ Watt's diet came out of what he yeah. ate in a day, and it was like. Eight chicken breasts, four steaks. Like it was yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, no, it, it, it was it was the same thing with uh, Michael Phelps too. Yeah, like, like all the, the like amount a, of calories they eat, is like a plate insane. of pasta. It's insane, like, but every, like the amount of calories that they hours. burn throughout the day. Yeah, right. Like one, yeah. their their fucking base metabolic rate, and then also what they're doing with their exercises. Dude, the one the one I've I've watched a bunch of videos on YouTube, um, in one of those like rabbit holes you get into of one of the world's <laughs> strongmen, um. He's pretty popular. I can, I'm blanking on the name. I the have no idea. No, it's not the mountain. But um, he shows what he eats in a day and like him cooking and all this stuff. And he eats like every hour and a half, like two hours. He eats like ground bison and like bison. eight eight cups oh, of rice. Yeah. Like you have bison. <laughs> No, oh, he eats it for breakfast. Like it. I don't, fire. Like, it. I don't he, like it that much. He eats like I got on a road it's like ground beef. Really? I got it upstairs right now. But anyways, yeah. he eats he eats every two hours during the day. Yeah, so that, my thing absurd. with that is like you have you either one have to have someone cook all your meals, or two you're just cooking the whole day, yeah. like all weekend, like every, every day, all day. You can't have a job. Yeah, yeah, but, like, well, I mean that no, no, is but, part of his job. But his job, job is yeah. true. To be but, a, like, a physical freak. If you want to do that, you like kind of can't because you if you have to make money somehow that's not involved with your body building, like you don't have time to eat and then in an hour and a half start cooking your food that you're gonna eat like and then yeah, right. like he would eat like no, six he, to eight meals a day of like, when does he lift of, <laughs> exactly like how much do those guys get paid 
I like, feel like, I like don't the know. They only get guys. paid on probably, sponsorships. Like probably and advertisements and right, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, right. Win. No, no, no. But like, just like anything else in they, the world. Are they millionaires? Mm. Uh, I don't know. The good about ones. That. Yeah. The winners. I guess. I mean. So then, yeah. All right. Well, well if you're bringing in that much, then like, then like you can have someone to make your food. Then I feel yeah. like the money's not in the bodybuilding. The money's in that. He, he right, right. But that's right. he had a rice. He had a rice like machine or whatever. That rice cooker. A rice cooker that is on 24 hours a day, always cooking rice. Like, because he eats it with every bro, meal he has. Rice is it's going to jack up your electricity Like bill four right cups there, of rice or something. I don't know. Yeah. And he's, I don't know, he's obviously not fat, but there's definitely fat linemen who can run like hell and be very physical. So I give that one. I'll, I'll debunk that. Uh, headline. Yeah, I agree though. Like, you I got think, 300 I think pound linemen, linemen catching linemen tutties fit. in the NFL. Yeah. 12 this season. <clears throat> 12, 12 players above the Holy weight shit. of 300. I think it was That's some. It's really a great year for big like, boys. It was like it was, four of them on that on that one Sunday, like mm-hmm. uh, two weeks ago. That was yeah. awesome. It broke uh, like some Lane Johnson for the had NFL. one for the birds. Big boys for the win. He had what? A touchdown. Oh, a big, a oh yeah, he did. Yeah. Anyway. Next article is from The Telegraph. This came out in July 23rd of 2021. The only COVID article on the list. Thank COVID God. could spread through flatulence, says <laughs> ministers. First of all, who are these ministers? But second of all, just a funny article. Ministers of flatulence. Next one. <laughs> bro, that's how I got COVID, bro. Elevator COVID. That's how I got COVID, bro. Through a fart? Yeah, dude, I got farted on. At the gym. COVID. Pink, eye, pink eye and COVID. The new <laughs> just <kidding>. fluorona. <laughs> yeah, fluorona. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the new discovery mm-hmm. at, uh, in L.A. Of course that would come from L.A. Flagellorona. Here's one from wegotthiscovered.com. This is September 21st, 2021. Marvel Studios may drop men from X-Men. <laughs> yeah. So what, just X? X-People? Uh, let's X see days. what they had. Offer a solution. <laughs> they usually don't, but let's X, see. She, him, You can't they. even say humans at that point. X them. <laughs> here's a quote. I quote. Uh, who's this from? X Men uh, isn't even good anyway. She, yeah. she said, "I don't know where <laughs> the future favorite. is going. It's funny that people call it X Men. There's a lot of female superheroes in that X Men group, so I think it's outdated. I mean, X Women. That's a point. Oh, here we go. Yeah, she says the X Men to X Women." You guys Fair ever enough. see that? Uh, I didn't like X Men enough anyway, yeah, so I don't I, really care. Don't you guys ever see either. that clip of like Knuckles like debunking the female character from Sonic about uh, women's sports being like if you make it an exception, then that makes it the status quo, and that kind of oh, goes against yeah, your whole yeah, point yeah. of feminism. Yeah. Yeah. No. He, yeah. That is like the most like, insane thing coming out of like a Sonic <laughs> video game. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, like a cartoon, bro, like you spitting facts. You just what? Yeah. Are you how? Based? Yeah, he was. He was on his fucking horse on that that's one. That's funny. That, I haven't seen that. That's for sure. Speaking of re- revisionist history, we have from here from the Scientific American of all places. Here's one. It's an opinion article. Why the term Jedi is problematic for describing programs that promote justice, equity, diversion, and inclusion. Yeah. So ban Jedi. Jedi. It's like, Bro, yeah, Jedi is well, non-binary. Well, so. of course. I mean, the thing is, though, I will say this: they were very inclusive because they had every type of alien that had the force. Female Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. What did you just say? I don't. I'm not a big star. Well, I, mean, I don't know. But but there's the a Jedi are also Jedi? a cult. Yes. They're also a cult. So it's Bro, like Ray. It is a. Religion. I don't know who that is. You know, like the main <laughs> character the of the most recent trilogy. Seven, eight, nine? I don't know. I I don't you know, don't waste your time. Man. I don't. Bro, you gotta I don't fuck, care you, for the new you movies. Call a they, Star didn't, Wars. They, they didn't. They didn't do great, but like, me. Ray is a good character. Finn I don't fucking see, sucks. No, I, I didn't sick. think Ray was a good character. Ray, I'm not a fan of Ray. Finn, I don't like the story necessarily. Po, the way that they did. Po, I hated. Finn. Who are these people? I have no idea. Yeah, bro, Palpatine's it's back. back. Episode <laughs> nine, he's back. Bro, apparently, they're gonna up- <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah. Out of no, fucking no, nowhere. No, no. Apparently, Mandalorian and Boba Fett series are kind of gonna explain how they got uh, Palpatine back. Because they gotta talk themselves into it. Yeah, exactly. Somehow. The yeah. blood, the blood of the, Baby Yoda. And I bet they, they find like the severed That's hand, bullshit. or they find what the severed hand of, of so Luke it's Skywalker, it's and then put it in a cloning machine or whatever. <laughs> They'll figure out some stupid yeah, shit right. like After that. Yeah, right. After his hand falls down the fucking city. Bro, you don't know. You don't know the science of galaxies far, far away. Yeah, I, I think, Neither did I. Neither, yeah. I think I think people are too hard on the uh, seven eight Constantly nine. Constantly changing, but they're not like George good, Lucas. No, like they're not bro. good. No, but like I, I like I, 
I don't think the suck as bad as everybody says though. Like you, I like when I'm watching those movies, I've seen them all like at least four times. I just think last you Jedi. Enjoy I, it I, enjoy, last I enjoy. I enjoy watching the movies. You I think last Jedi is terrible. Inter- okay. The other two are watchable. The you can last enjoy Jedi, it from that, an is that episode eight. Yeah, that one sucks. That movie was horrible. That that that's the worst one of them all. That's worse than the Phantom Menace. I think so too. Yeah, I think it's worse than the. Fan- and I used to think the Phantom Menace was the worst, but I actually think the, yeah. this is worse than that. And, no, I remember and that's, and that's that, that was the first movie I ever you. walked out of where I was like so excited going in and walked out, and I was yeah. like, "That was the really Phantom bad." Menace? Like I was like the whole time trying to convince myself to like it. I'm like, "That was really dumb and really bad." Wait, yeah, which was. one? Uh, the Last eight. Jedi. Oh, okay. Because yeah. at Dude, least the first like, time I saw, it, I thought it was like one of the worst movies I've ever seen. But after I, after I've seen it a couple more times, it's like it's not that bad. But like I. Yeah, who would have thought sucks. Kylo Ren would switch sucks. sides, you know? Spoiler alert. He had yeah, the best bro, arc. Wow. He had the best arc in the whole yeah, movies. I seen it. Thanks for but, yeah. Shout out Rob. But no, but the, Get fucked, but Rob. The, whole, the peanut gallery. But the whole trilogy is 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 an exact copy of of 4, 5, and 6. Right, yeah. Like episode Rob's seven, here is just too soft to say anything. You the big evil weapon, and you fly through the trench, mm-hmm. and you shoot the, uh, the weak spot. Exactly. And then episode 5... You're on some uh, like a desolate planet at the very end of episode yeah. eight, and then um, like the I just called Farkas mid snore, and, yeah. and the good guys are in the trenches, and then um, episode six, the fucking bad guy turns good, again. Right. Episode nine, it's no, the you're same exactly shit. Right. It's and the same shit. And that's the thing they shit being copied. Uh, have you ever seen the thing about Harry Potter literally being copied straight from Star Wars? I don't think anybody heard that. No. Here. Yeah, yeah, definitely nobody heard that. Sabo speaking not into the mic. Uh, Big no no right now. Big no no. He asked about yeah, no, uh, Harry Potter. We and need Star Mike Wars. on Sabo. Harry Potter being a copy off of Star Wars. Uh, I don't. I don't see it, but I guess I never seen the video. I mean, maybe. There, yeah, I could see that a little bit. I think I could see the elements like the hero's journey, the the chosen one, like all that. It's stuff. like the out- very much It's like, like the outline yeah. is the same. Child yeah. that's abandoned. Sure, you can just a different uncle. genre. Yeah. yeah. No, you're yeah, exactly probably true. Right. Oh Here's shit! The chosen one has yeah, super OP. He does Luke a shitty... is OP though in in uh in this, in a New Hope though. Plot armor. Well, yeah, but that's any main <laughs> character armor. of any movie. We what? need you on a mic. We need yeah. you on a mic. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Sorry for the viewers at home. Sabo's going off on a tangent, <laughs> Mikeless right now. No, the um, he's basically just saying that, and I, and I don't think you're totally wrong that like Harry Potter took from Star Wars. No, I totally did. You're right. But I, yeah, I I don't think it's necessarily a rip-off, but it definitely took a lot from it. I, it's I, a I different power system. Yeah. Sure. It's a different magic system for sure. But yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Orphan gets left with aunt and uncle. Is the chosen one. Mm-hmm. I've never seen Harry Potter, so that's about as far as I'm going to go. What? <laughs> what? How are you talking right, about right, this conspiracy right, theory there. then? It's not, like conspiracy. it's not really a conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it, you are kind of right. But uh, like, it, it's enough. Cor- to, it's different It's a enough. correlation. We're going to watch enough. all... Too many dots We're going to watch all eight Harry Potters and we'll get back after. Yeah, so. yeah we'll talk to you in okay, three years. Okay, welcome back. We have just watched all eight Harry Potter <laughs> yeah. episodes. <laughs> But no, just to end the Star Wars conversation, like I, I, I think that like you you were on to something where you're like, you know, they're not as bad necessarily. But I think yeah. it's like because they had enough familiar stuff in there uh-huh. to make you like kind of be like, Oh, it feels kinda yeah, ish like Star yeah. Wars, but to kinda overcompensate for the fact that they had nothing created. Yeah. They prayed you on always got a Jedi, there. you always got the force, you got fucking Han Solo and the uh, but it just and the Millennium the Falcon. charm. These movies lack the charm yeah. and the personality of yeah. the first movies. Like one, even in the prequels agreed. I had, like agreed, one they based it off nostalgia. Two, Disney ruined it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't yeah, know PG-13 Star Wars. Dude. You don't, that's that not something a, that should be PG-13. Yeah, it's like too angsty. It got too angsty at times. Especially yeah, I want to like see Rise sex. Skywalker. That was, dude. Like, the, 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 the romantic <laughs> trope between Finn and Rey was cringe. Yeah, yeah, I don't but, even know who these people Rey are. But then Rey was, like, in love with, like, Kylo Ren, too, in, like, a weird-ass way. Yeah, like, they tried to, like, make they that tried a thing. To, yeah, Her right. adopted that's, families. That was a fan thing, because all the fans yeah, on, on yeah. like, all the fucking weebs on Twitter were, like, freaking yeah. out about, like, yeah, well, I love weebs. Do not call them <laughs> weebs. <laughs> shout out to, weebs. Yo, shout out to all the weebs, weebs out there. Star weebs. Star no. <laughs> Lay off the weebs. I'm on the weebs. Speaking of anime, uh, Star Wars Clone Wars? You guys Never watch seen that? Never yes, seen it. Gen- we were talking about this today. And you, you get to see, you get to see Obi Wan's like love interest. You get to see uh-huh. um, Darth Maul's like story. You yeah. get to see his brother. Uh, see Darth Maul's. Yeah, Darth Maul's, penis. Maul's bro- <laughs> 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 something savage. 
Yeah. Dar Savage or whatever. Yeah, and then you get a uh, Assange <laughs> Ventress. Is Bro, Darth Maul's penis goes out on both sides. <laughs> it goes uh, out both ways. Also, um, he has two. Uh, Ahsoka Tano. Bro. It's, it's just like his arms. Yo, yeah. her being like his and, uh, Mandalorian was dope. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the thing that Ahsoka they was each so have a in the first like few episodes. You're and then, thinking like, a general grievance. Oh, yeah, with like, the arms, he I am, actually I am. became a really good character. Like by the end, they did a good job. Shout out, <laughs> shout out, John Favreau, beast yeah. director and producer. Shout oh, out George Lucas, Dave Filoni. Shout out General uh, Grievous. <laughs> but anyway, shout, shout out Darth Maul's penis. <laughs> <laughs> you see it in the new one, <laughs> yeah. episode ten, dude. He, he lays full cock. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I bet, I bet, that, I bet that's a good turn for them, especially like when Disney Plus gets low subs. I could sell, someday, I could sell like, Star they're Wars. Go, they're yeah, gonna sure. go from like straight kids content to just porn. porn. <laughs> dude, oh my God. dude, that's where Star Wars is that's going. Where just General the Grievous the dual wielding. <laughs> Bro, General Grievous pounds Ray. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. With that said, next okay. article. Next up. Next article. Indie, is. This is from this one's from IndieWire. Uh, came out October 6, twenty one. Andrew Lloyd Webber says Katz was so off, quote off the scale wrong that he brought a therapy dog. So I thought it was just funny. <laughs> the that movie the guy, Cats. Yes. He the guy the from dog Cats. Yeah. I, I'm I'm terrified from just the previews that I've seen. I'm mortified. <laughs> we said that a lot. Did anybody see Cats here? I've seen. I know I you forty did. minutes I mean, of it. I, I got. We got forty minutes into it. Me and a couple of friends got forty minutes into it. You know, had some beers and we're chilling and then like forty minutes some in, we all looked at each other, like, ready to watch something else, and we're all like, <laughs> "Yeah, this is horrible." Like we were roasting it and it was fun, but then like we were That's just like, "Okay, now this just sucks." And then you then you go to another movie. We didn't see it in theaters though. We watched it on, on demand. Luckily, if anyone it, saw the preview of Cats. And, and said, it was like, I need to see Jason Derulo. And, up and said, I need to see that movie. It looks good. They need to be put on a list and be like permanently watched by the FBI. Because that movie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not worried about those it's people. It's terrified. I'm terrified those people of that. People are the movie. people that I'm really not worried about. But I just think it's funny how he bought a dog, a therapy dog, for the cat movie. Yeah, I feel like be a, <laughs> that'd be pretty interesting, though. Bringing a cat or a dog to the cat set? Yeah. This one's from the this one's from the Guardian. Uh, it is from Shout out the Guardian. October eighth, twenty twenty one. Go guards! Quote: It was a nice break from everything. Says two men rescued after twenty nine days lost at sea. <laughs> oh, this was this was this article went viral. Wait, when because, was this? When was this? October eighth of last year. That's that's peak COVID. Of twenty twenty one, not twenty twenty one. Not twenty twenty one. So like three months ago. They, it's all a blur. I feel like I I remember this. It, yeah, this I think like dudes posting W's. The or guys that lost yeah. posted this, yeah. and that's why I saw it. But I was like, yeah, like, this is a really interesting article. These guys like, like they were cool about it. They were sailing off like Papua New Guinea and got lost like in the middle of the ocean, and then they were like, yeah, it was just a nice. As soon as they were found, they were like, yeah, we're good, and like <laughs> it's a modern day Lewis and you know, Clark. Yeah, and they're like, you know, it was good to just get away from everything. You know, <laughs> they're just hanging out. Yeah. Just thought it was kind of a funny way to approach. It's like that's pretty you sweet. go, you get lost for twenty nine days, and like that's the first thing you say when you get back is yeah. That's how yeah, bad yeah, you right. know the world is. Is that they were like yeah, <laughs> it was no, it was, you, it was great. You know we were lost guys. for twenty nine days, but it was so good. I mean, that's guys are survivalists. Then yeah, they were probably eating good. Survivalists and lucky. They're, prepared. they're probably hunting. They're, they're probably eating fresh probably fish. fish. Yeah. Makes me question if it was salmon. Planned. Could be. How lost were they? Yeah, it was just a vacation at that. I wonder what their I wonder what their marriages were like. It's like. Lost yeah. at sea, but really, they were just on vacation. Yeah, <laughs> right. There's like a town, yeah, like, like a work, mile work away. Can't call you. Yeah. Here's one from uh, Manchester Evening News. This is from October twentieth, twenty twenty one. Man splattered with poop after plane dumps its toilet over his garden. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, can we talk about Bill Gates real quick and the poop perfume and the poop water? Oh, I yes. did see that. What, what is going about? on with that? What so, is that? I saw the poop perfume he, and I thought it was a joke, and then the poop water came out, and now I'm like, I I am I'm lost. Bill Gates is a modern Bond villain. Like they're taking like <laughs> sanitation and shit. <laughs> no, dude, that that's and turning Bezos. it into things. They're like recycling it into Bezos? perfume and water. Wait, sorry, what? can you read that? I'm pretty sure they're taking like sanitation like shit. And recycling it into like products. They like basically and water. No? they they sanitize poop water so much that you could drink it and it's normal to prove a point that they can clean 
watered That's that weird. well. Like they can sanitize it that well. But fuck, why perfume? Fuck that. that doesn't benefit the society. I, I mean, don't know why. I don't know why perfume. The perfume's random. But if you take a cup of water that you know was once feces and you drink it, you are fucked up. I do not care. I love yeah, the I'll memes just, of it though. It's I'll just, just Bill Gates to... nose deep and like a little tube. With it's shit it's coming that's. Out of it. I don't care. Like I don't know. I can't do that. I'll just stick to Ice Mountain. Thank you very much. You it's know. crazy. Like it's crazy. Aquafina like, like, is the same if, thing. If it ain't broke, don't. <laughs> it's crazy the if stuff broke, that they try to it. normalize. Like exactly yeah, news like, and like the billionaires like they try to normalize like outlandish stuff just to see if people will buy yeah, like, it like oh look yeah, how bro, cool being a fucking pedophile they like the meta they rip that the that's what they're doing. they rip yeah. that <laughs> they let they let Ready that go like one. oh people are gonna eat this up like he cleaned poop water and he's drinking it like no that's weird and Reason everyone's gonna shit on yeah that. it's like shit. it's like oh my everyone's God, gonna look shit what on that no pun intended like that is yeah mess up you watch as soon as it's like there's a commercial for it and like it's on it starts getting on the shelves and stuff, the poop water, people are gonna buy into it. Like the big mm. oh man, like have you tried the poop water? <laughs> it's made by Bill Gates. Remember the guy that did Microsoft? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. He's the poop guy now. This is from TMZ Sports. Nice. Got a sports article. Let's go. Ex Bills, uh, sorry, ex Bull star Joakim Noah compares Derrick Rose's the ACL worst. terror to the 9 11 attacks. <laughs> I'm telling you how I feel. You know what? That might be the NBA equivalent of a, of a terrorist attack. <laughs> it really is. Everybody loved Derrick Rose, bro. It was everybody, everybody loved it. Was, it was tragic. It was I just, very sad. Yeah, he recovered way better than screwed. New York did. That's like uh, facts. That's, very true. Facts. That's, that's facts. That's like Kamala Harris comparing the. Hey, but he uh, did it in New York though. Yeah, the January sixth. The shit riot. To, yeah, to, yeah, it's a, a terrorist attack. Killed thousands dude, TJ, of people. you said you said more people died at Astro World. <laughs> more dude, people died at Astro World than the Capitol. That's not. That's, that's not that me. That cracked me up. That's not me downplaying no, know, or being her. Bo- um, that's just. A, that's that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. People. Yeah, but no, dude. When Derrick Rose have... went down, it was like all those memes, like a uh, like Simba, like <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, like on him. Like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. No, yeah, like that's where that shit came from. That was so sad. Yeah, that dude. Shit sucks so bad. Joakim Noah sucks. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. Also, he doesn't like Cleveland. Doesn't he like live in the? Yeah, stores, yeah, right? that's right. He yeah, shit he was Cleveland. shit talking. Dude, like, him and, like to him and uh, now, dude, now it's Kyle Kuzma. No, he did he, it very well too. I mean, he's he, was, he, he, was, had, he, was he had a point. He said, "You've never heard of anyone vacationing in Cleveland," <laughs> which is a fact. No one would ever be like, "Oh, wh- like where'd you go for spring break?" Oh, I went to Cleveland. We went to like, Cleveland. No, no one. Me and the kids happened. went to Cleveland. No one goes to a big but city for spring but break that, anyway. We're not. That's what what we're trying to be. I don't want to be yeah, Myrtle Beach. Right. I want to be Cleveland. I don't want people no, to come dude, here. Actually, though, actually, hey, not so key, February when actually, people come here key. for uh, right the All Star game. Yeah. And guess who? And guess who lived here for years? Uh, Chloe Kardashian. So yeah, bro. Yeah, that worked out really well for her. For her, yeah, it worked great. No, but like she was saying, well, when that, you like, let she someone who's Cleveland, cheated though. on you five times come back in your life, yeah, you're, dude, pro- fuck, you're fuck probably Tristan, gonna get cheated on. And you only Tristan publicly Thompson. call him out dude, for one of them. He's yeah. having another kid yeah. with another bitch now. She already yeah. had it. She had really? it. Really? Yeah, oh my a, god! She's a month out of birth. I just saw like a picture of her. Like, <laughs> oh my god! Like post pregnancy body. What is that? Like five kids he has now, dude. The memes I've seen about Tristan Thompson and a young boy. It's like some crazy shit. So uh, my internship after after junior year of college, uh, my boss at that internship uh, bought Tristan Thompson's old house. Oh in, really? I I in, in Bratton Bratton Hall. Hall. When yeah. I was yeah when I was uh, when I got my real estate license, he listed it and I could I looked it up my, like yeah, on dude, the my listing. My former boss bought that house. Fucking baller, dude. I've seen. So you what, think uh, one of his five children were conceived there? I would imagine. Probably, yeah. Do you think uh, it was the one? No, he's probably partying in like L.A. or like Miami or something. Like that's where he was. That's where he was fucking so, bitches. So I saw one of those memes of Tristan Thompson. And it was like Tristan Thompson when he has to play basketball and it's like 0.0 assists, 0 rebounds in like 48 <laughs> yeah. minutes or whatever. And then it's like Tristan Thompson when it's time to cheat on his wife. <laughs> and it's like... Will... <laughs> <laughs> It's like Will Chamberlain numbers. 100 <laughs> points, 45 rebounds, 35 Dude, assists. He, he might be, like, I don't know. He's probably number one right now like, in, the, in the cheater power rankings. Like, seriously, like, 
I mean, at least for consistency Dude, in yeah, recent yeah. years. <laughs> Especially yeah, he is consistent. He, Gotta give him that. With all the money she has, she's sticking around with this. Remember, dude, it was right? what Seriously. was her name? Like Jordan Woods? Was that it? Like, yeah, like Jordan, yes. Kylie's, with the with the Kylie's best friend. Yeah. And that's that the only one that drama. she publicly called out until this most recent. Yeah, because yeah. she had to because it was Kylie's friend that like he was yeah. sneaking around I mean, with that is <laughs> and doing publicity. They were doing blow until like six in the morning or something, and like they, I don't, I don't yeah, know, I remember I mean, that story. She was story with Lamar vaguely. Odom before, and then yeah, like, you got it. Bro, really the Lamar Odom was that's a, that's a red flag, <laughs> bro. Yeah, Lamar Odom problem. was dying who was on crack, yeah, and the first. <laughs> he was he was dying in a brothel and he still cheated. He was better than Chloe. <laughs> he was better than Chloe he, than he mustered up the strength. To <laughs> he was <laughs> off the floor. Like, all right. Bro, uh, did you see the pictures where's, of him in the hospital? Just, somebody just offered Dude, themselves to him. And Dude, no. where's the nearest pussy? Lamar Odom <laughs> fought someone like on one of those celebrity pay-per-view events. Who yes, did he, he did. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. might have been Lil Xan. Yeah. Yeah. No way. He fought Lil Xan. No, like Lamar God. was like 6'11". I Lil know. Zan that's the thing. Eight. That's kind of an unfair Dude, match. Dude, yeah, that's, that's a recipe for disaster. I have to look it up. Has anyone seen the show uh, Wheel of Time? No, no, I have heard of it on Amazon. Neither has anybody else, because uh, our next article is from Screen Rant. <laughs> uh, what a it is segue. Aaron Carter. Yeah. He fought Aaron Carter. It, uh, Aaron. And it is titled, yeah, bro, Wheel of did. Time is not doing the numbers that we expected. That, I'm sorry. Quote, Wheel of Time is not doing the numbers that were expected. But that is the idea. That is never the idea. <laughs> Wait, I, that is the exact opposite So the idea is to not get ratings. So <laughs> they created a TV show to not... Have people watch it? No, they created it to not exceed expectations. It says the, the success oh. of the show may be elsewhere, according to experts. Yeah, they keep trying that's to. That's always the kid. That's always the kiss of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Like, that's kind of hard. I don't to, even know what the show is. Too. I don't you know, know what it why, is. But I never just thought the it. article was funny. I've just seen commercials for it, and I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of interesting, but uh, not interesting enough for me to actually watch it. Right. The first time hearing of it. Yeah. I know. I've never seen it either. Next article. This, this is a recent one. December 22nd, 2021. Ooh. From AP News out of Clearwater, Florida. Nice. Mm, this will be good. As every great article starts, Florida man with drugs around penis denies <laughs> they were his. <laughs> Urban Meyer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, someone just put these drugs on my penis, dude. <laughs> I don't know where they, I don't know, like, who And his was. wife comes out to his defense. <laughs> yeah. 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 Literally. Yeah, wife. Is that? <laughs> drugs found in the butthole exactly of what we were talking Urban about. Myers exactly what we were talking about last night in watching live PD. It's just, oh, no, they were just in my pocket. I, I don't mm -hmm. know. How, like, yeah. like. They everyone on live PD acts as if their pockets are a public place and they have no control over yeah. what's in their pocket. Yeah. It's like a public or bathroom the, or the trunk or glove box of their own car. Yes, like, yes. They literally go there. Anything like, in their car. And they have like a little zip up bag and they grab the meth pipe out. And, and it's like, not. It's not. It's not. Where did that, that come from? Oh my god. It's not that they, like they just play it off as if it's they have plausible deniability that it's like oh no I didn't know that was there it was just in my glove box like <laughs> yeah. and they're just like no that's it I should be fine like I didn't know it was there yeah like, no I've only had this car for twenty five years yeah it's so. only it's only my car and like they're my pants it's my pocket but no I, I feel bad for the sucker that has shit in his car that actually isn't his though right yeah someone <laughs> like, planted that shit like on his, him like, girlfriend or his yeah just, yeah like, leaving shit in there right a uh, disgruntled employee. Yeah, but like that, you're right. Like that's how they treat it. They treat it like it's like everybody just drops they, stuff. They in the, treat it like, like public property. Like the muffin man just comes own and drops it into their pocket, like or into their car. Like oh, and like they, I love when like they got like all the drugs like lined out on the yeah, like, oh, yeah, right. Oh, I, don't know, I don't know who those are mine. Like you literally, they probably smell like all of it. Like you just you just like, see got, some people and you just know what they smell like just by looking at them. <laughs> that's he's got literally a, that's literally that show. He's got a baby in the back seat. <laughs> Always. They always have a fucking kid in the car yeah. on that show. Child that just should not be <laughs> yeah. with them. Purs bro, bro just, children. Like, just yeah, tack on another felony, thing. bro. Child endangerment. Here's one. Another recent one from December 25th, 2021. Elf makes fun of disabled adults through Buddy, whether purposefully uh, or not. Come on. We're going after what, Elf now? What type of disabled person, though? Because Elf is an elf and the whole point of the movie is that he was raised as an elf so like yeah. i would get it if it like was related to someone with let's say asperger's or someone with 
some sort of mental illness, but like it's not related to anything. It's related to him being raised as an elf, so he doesn't know how to be a human. Like there's no correlation between. So that one's just like reaching so hard to be right. like, oh, he's disabled because he was an elf. So it makes fun of elf people. Like, right. like that's part what of they're trying joke. to say. It's like, it's amazing that this made insider business insider and like this this feels like a like a college essay that would get like a C plus. You know, like just the the, the entire like it feels the like of this, like because it's just like you're saying, like it, it's not anything like concrete. Like they're like you know, it's they said Elf is a modern cl- Christmas classic, despite the fact that it mocks cognitively disabled people. Like how it doesn't mention, yeah, it. yeah. And there's no that, specifics. Is it a high pedigree of reporting? No, 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 no hell no. If, and like it's like it's like part of the joke though that like he's. Yeah. He's not well adjusted. Like, look, this it's oh, this guy, water story. this exactly. guy was raised by yeah. elves, and now he's in it's New York not, City. Ha ha ha! He no, doesn't know about a coffee shop. Best coffee eats, in the world. He like, eats candy, candy cane, candy yeah. corn, and sugar. Like <laughs> syrup, syrup. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's no, it, there's no correlation to any sort of like mental illness. Buddy's or disability like that. is not yeah. explicitly stated, but heavily implied. <laughs> It is explicitly yeah. stated. Yeah, he's it's, an elf. It's he was raised as an elf. <laughs> it's called it's, he's an elf. <laughs> it's very. Yeah, it's the name of the movie. <laughs> it's literally in the movie. It's very explicitly stated. People just write this stuff just so that people would talk. Yeah, about it. it's like, just it's clickbait, clickbait. Bro. And, and, and guess what? Yeah. They win because what yeah, are we doing seriously. right now? We're, we're talking about it. About it. And Bro. We clicked on it and we. If gave Will Ferrell walked up to me and punched me in the face, I gave him there. We gave him there a fraction of a cent for for our click. Bro, you could literally say that about most of Will Ferrell's roles. Right. right. Exactly. Kind of yeah. Right. Like he's supposed Caledonia to be Talladega Nights. Kind of he's supposed Caledonia to be the Step Brothers. Step Brothers yeah. a million percent. Step Brothers, Step Brothers has way more of an Anchorman? implication of them. Anchorman? Yeah. Having a, All of them. That's just his character. Bro, he, 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 just, he just is the dumb guy. Everything. Here's one from November 3rd, 2021, for out of uh, NBC News 10 Philadelphia. Truck driver ousts New Jersey Senate president after spending $153 on campaign. Has anyone heard this story before? Wait, no, what? what? So this is it's it's from uh, he's a guy. He was a truck driver in New Jersey. His name's Edward Durr, and basically Ed Durr. what he was is just a dude that like wanted to run for Senate in the in the state of Pennsylvania. So he ran uh, as a Republican and put up the hundred fifty three dollars. Oh, and he won. He put. I think he paid like the month. It was like it was like thirty bucks to like enter your name in or whatever. And then like he spent like a hundred dollars <laughs> on like, an event, like and had like pizzas brought or something <laughs> like, for an event. Like, no, I did hear about. I did hear about and, this. And he spent one hundred fifty three dollars yeah. on his entire campaign and beat a guy who's like yeah, literally and he, and he won, won elections in that district for like the last like ten years. Well, you know whatever. what that tells you. They were just fucking sick of this guy. Yeah, they, right. they were just sick of this guy who was in office already. But I think it's like I think That's it's just awesome. A, it's a cool story because it's like anybody can run for office. Like you yeah, need, like that's the problem I think with modern day like politics. Not to get too deep into it, but like just like that everybody thinks that you have to have some sort of like pedigree, like you know, to run for public office. Right, it's not right. Really, what was intended to be from the beginning, like. It was intended to be for common people for to anybody. leave their profession, join, and then get out. Like it was never mo- supposed to be a career, you know. That's thing. facts. So it's That's like facts right now. So like, yeah, I think it's just it's interesting that like we're starting to see like the tide kind of switch towards the everyday man. Like yeah, no, that's running cool. in in these just random districts and you know winning elections, which is crazy. On, on and then, like to do it on such a low budget, like right, it just sets an interesting precedent. Like I, I hope more people run for office, you know, if they feel called to or whatever. Yeah. Not dementia. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, everybody's first thought would be, like, oh, he's he's not qualified right. to, like, run that shit. But, like, if if the city surrounds him with, uh, like, a competent staff, like, like the right people, it'll be, right. like, I'm sure it'll, I'm, it'll work. Like, it'll be it's fine. It's definitely going to be a guy that's going to be willing to, like, take advice, you know. Yo, like, and, yeah. And, not, and, you know, not be Never not done be it before. But, you know. It's yeah. It, you're right. Like you know, people look at it like, oh, you know, who's this guy? Like yeah. truck driver. But it's like you he know, doesn't deserve that. He's, a, he's an everyday working American. Like and especially in a, in the supply chain industry, which you know hasn't been the best <laughs> over the past year or so. So you know, I think it's an interesting thing. Um. Anyway, this is from NBC Four. Inglewood. Mm. Uh. And it is uh, posted November 3rd, 2021. 
Inglewood High School principal apologizes for 106 to zero football blowout. Mm. Yeah, sorry, we're talented. I'm all about it. Stop <laughs> us! Stop <laughs> us! Stop yeah. us from 50, scoring if you don't want us to score. That's bad. You should not blow out high school team. Now. They, held, they held a 59 to zero lead at the end I of mean, the first quarter. But at some point, <laughs> at some point, you're just running and scoring, and it's like, what do you want them to do? Tell the kids not. Right. Yeah. Just stop the game. Just like, forfeit. You would think after 59-0, they would be putting their bench players in it. They're still putting up Is another 50 Is there no mercy points. rule in high school? I'm pretty sure there has to be. I don't think so. Like I'm pretty they, sure the refs have to have like the jurisdiction just to be they like, They went for right. a two-point conversion with a 104 to nothing lead. Uh, <laughs> why not? <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's electric. That's more of the suspension. That's asshole, dude. Right. That's like a... Like a girls basketball game, like where you, like where you week, get like right? like UConn against somebody. It's like a hundred to three or some shit. The Morningside's coach called the performance classless. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you can say at that point. Honestly, it's classless to get beat that bad. <laughs> yeah, just be better. Oh, I love this yeah, get better. I think we're doing like a Will Smith thing on TBS because I got focus up next. Oh, funny you mentioned Will Smith. This is from All Hip Hop. Will Smith, or er, right, here we go, November twenty sixth, twenty twenty one. Will Smith showed his grandma a sex scene uh, featuring yeah. Jada Pinkett Smith. No wonder they have problems now, dude. Bro, like, that's the thing. Like, I don't hey. ever want to hear about the Smiths ever again. I hate, I don't like their red table talk. Like, don't air your dirty I know about your way too much about the fucking Smiths, bro. Like, wh- and, like, yeah, Will, Will Smith is, like, it's crazy. He, he went from, like, you know, in the 90s, like, action star, hero, like, you know, movie star, and now he's just, like, a sad cock, like <laughs> I hate to say that, but like he kind Bro, of you're is, talking like, shit on Will Smith's like that, name. Like that whole Man. entanglement, to use their words, is just that was so really embarrassing. embarrassing. I mean, I Didn't he find out like on a like an interview? Wasn't it? Wasn't yeah, it like some so, shit? Yeah, like he, that, he was, was like live. He, that that meme of his face. Yeah, like, no, I know, I know. Yeah. That, that's what I'm. That's what that, I'm asking about. That was I think from the interview that they he did with her when they were like talking it out, and she basically like, yeah, I basically, you know, cheated on you with August Alcina or whatever. Right. It was an entanglement like, though. It wasn't, he was, like, wasn't totally cheating. like she, down yeah. it. and like now he's showing his grandma like videos of or sex not <coughs> sex scenes with his uh with Yeah, his Jada. what the fuck? Will, dude. Yeah, man. Will's falling off, bro. Will's falling off big time. I used to love Will Smith, bro. Well, he's been to the island. Independence Day classic <laughs> movie. Men in Black is an underrated movie. Focus. Dude, now it's Jaden. Right. Well, like now Jaden's right. going to carry the torch. Will Smith's best Pursuit movie. Pursuit of Happiness was a really good Okay, besides really Pursuit of Happiness. Not fun, but... Yeah, no. fuck yeah. Uh, yeah. I said Independence Day. I love yeah. Independence and Day. And guess what no one's mentioned yet? I, Robot. The yes, oh. bro. Hell yeah. I am legend. I, love I am legend. I robot. Yeah. I am legend. Dude, my, Same my grandpa. I love I Robot. Dude, what's the last, like, I mean, Focus was okay, but, like, what's the last, like, really good Will Smith movie that's come out, like, in the uh, last decade? Uh, the, it's been a while. The Serena Hancock. Williams movie that just oh, came out. Yeah. <laughs> that Hancock. Good? I haven't seen it yet. I heard it's really good, though. We yeah, need to watch it. I haven't it. seen that either. Actually, what we're doing now on the podcast is we're watching King Richard. <laughs> yeah. No, Dude, I want to watch it though. Watch it through. seems really good. Everyone loved it. It's just a movie about Venus and Serena Williams, but it's not about them. It's about their dad. My so. grandpa showed me Independence Day when I was like four years old. I was terrified. I was, I was terrified for like Day. years, I was like when actually I years when I was after little. that. Yeah, movie. I was scared of that. Too. I lunch is pretty scary. Yeah. And then I rewatched it like when I was a lot older, and I was like, oh, that's really not that scary. <laughs> I Robot scary, you're saying? No, no. I am like, I'm Oh, like, yes, dude, that movie scared the fuck sick. out of me, too. I Robot, dude, the thing about I Robot, have you seen those I Robot scared that me, too. That they're making? Like, they're the yeah, same. Hey, it's like, like that. Robot. It's like that. The one, it's like, very you see accurate. the one where, like, they wave the, the guy, like, waves his hand in front of it and, like, grabs his hand? It's the yeah, same shit. Yeah, dude, that was, that was my Dude, up. I could talk about AI all night up. long. Because, like, we don't want to go down this rabbit hole with me. I Robot is just a great movie. Watch yeah, it. Yeah, it's awesome. It is a great movie. I actually, it's underrated. Sunny. So lo- the CG looks a little Sunny, off bro. the time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little I mean, dated, but I like it. it was, like, 2008 right. when it came out. Yeah, no, dude. Oh, oh, 05, yeah, man. I remember 05, really 05, 06. That. Yeah, dude, that movie's old as shit. Um, but, yeah, Will Smith, he's, you know, kind of sad. All right. Um, cuck. Hate to see yeah, it. Yeah, he's a cuck. Hate to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. I don't even know what cuck really stands for. It a means, it's not an acronym. It's, it means when you enjoy watching your significant other oh. get fucked by other people. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's That's like, hey, like you're some huge yeah, dude with a big ass dick. I wouldn't say dick. he enjoys it. I mean... Yeah, it does, yeah, he doesn't enjoy. It seems it. like he's just no, kind of no. Like, but he's that, accepting it, like that's the worst. That's almost worse than enjoying it in a way. Because like at least if you enjoy it, like you're getting something out of it. Like 
Yeah. He's just like kind of in a sad spot where he just has to deal with it. Like, you know, because yeah, he's pretty much. I mean, all that. He's just trapped, he's trying to you save know? face in the media. Right. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. want like a he doesn't want the whole divorce, drama. Of, which is good of him. Right. But, oh, he's got to be mature. He's got to be an adult about it. I don't like. Oh, the new one? No, the one with Will Smith. No, that one was bad. The new one was movie? Uh, Suicide, Suicide Squad. Squad. Oh, like yeah. Movie. No, I don't fuck with the, I don't like Suicide Squad. But, I like Margot Robbie. Well, well, yeah, like, that's a different story. Great actress. But, yeah, like, I, I, yeah, it's weird, though, like, uh, the cut culture. <laughs> yeah, dude. We'll we were see. talking about this today. Yeah, we were talking about yeah. it. How, like, it's kind of just like this. Fr- it's become like a fringe, like a, yeah. like a, um, uh, what's the word? Like a fetish, almost. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. uh, that dude Jack Murphy got exposed for being a cuck. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna Dude, no, bro. It's like no, but like we were like, like we were talking about like the psychology of it. It's like oh yeah, like I can't fuck you that I good. Wouldn't. Like I'm like a little bitch. Like I just gotta I gotta see <laughs> someone else do it. <laughs> right. yeah. it's like, and then like you like sit there and like jerk the off to it. Like that's terrible. That shit is I so can... dude. You were like that's like the biggest loser on earth. Like you were like the like the least so manly weird. person. Yeah, like, no, in the no world. men respect cucks. Yeah. It's just not you know. But yeah, whatever. Speaking of, we're getting in the weeds we're in, this, in this episode. <laughs> anti cuck <laughs> yeah, podcast. Fuck your girl yourself. Twenty twenty two. Anyway, uh, yeah, bro. I'm some... off. I'm off being cucked, bro. I'm not. I, I'm not doing that anymore. Not, not this year. <laughs> Alex has had bad experiences, man. He's, he's over it. No, but like, actually, like, no. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Uh, this is from December 16, 2021. Recent. From the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Am I oh, crazy? shit. That means it's law. It's legit. Um, the metaverse has a groping problem already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That didn't, this, take, that didn't this, take long. <laughs> this instantly reminds me of, of the cyberbullying thing. Yeah, like, yeah. Where it's just Tyler like, creator. like, bro, just turn <laughs> off your computer. <laughs> Just close your eyes. Which, which cyberbullying is obviously a problem yeah, like that, yeah. but it's just funny. Uh, yeah, like, bro. On the metaverse, metaverse groping is not real. It's not a real thing. Like it's, that's not. You don't feel it. Like it's not, you have to literally. It's not, like, it's not your boobs. It's obviously, as someone who's never played Modern Warfare Two or like Call of Duty, has never been verbally on, bro, abused play, in a COD. Play, COD. play better. Like. Uh, that's that is a hilarious article and title. That's so funny. Yeah, and th- this one actually made the rounds because, like, th- basically, this person is alleging she was sexually harassed inside the metaverse. Like, somebody like was like their avatar was like you know reaching in her you know, her, private yeah. area. Her avatar's private. Well, then or you know you know who I would blame. I would blame Facebook. Or yeah, for even Meta. allowing that to happen because they allowed him to touch her that way. On. There's probably a big demographic. I have such a problem with, the, with Facebook and, and, and Twitter yeah, dude, and stuff. It's and I'll say this fault. much on it: mm-hmm. like the thing that pisses me off the most about them is that they like they get the protections of being a public platform, yet they administer content as if they're a publisher. Yeah, you know, like they should be they should be treated like the New York Times or the Washington Post or or you know any publication, like as opposed to like platforms because like they moderate content. Like, yeah, through their algorithm, through like their news page, like the fact that they even have a news page should make them. I mean, they also a got caught for just by definition. They also got caught for like knowing, um, oh, the data mining and all. Yeah, that? Yeah, like at what oh, rate, that's like even someone a like rabbit hole. someone like commits suicide off of like being bullied on their platform, or, like something yeah, and like that. Yeah, they get plausible deniability, and they and they knew effective ways to stop it and didn't do like shit about it yeah, like they don't just, need to yeah exactly because they get the protections of being a platform so they don't actually they're not liable for any crimes that happen on their platform yeah so which they don't what, care which is fair but at the same time it's like well that can't apply then if you're moderating content because then you're not a pol- you're not a platform that's my point like they should be facebook like twitter any like social media should be a public utility that's why reddit it should is be king. like a public Mo- park yeah. you know like that it should be like under that kind of jurisdiction regulation regulation, regulation exactly regulate that shit because yeah like you know you give it to these you know and people can use the excuse of oh yeah they're a private company and you accept their terms of service but it's like the fact that they're even allowed <coughs> to to do those terms of service and consider themselves public platforms is a prob- is is a conflict of interest in but, my world i would I'd regulate Twitter, and if you, if you reply to someone's tweet and you say, like, uh, like ratio, 
That's 10 years in prison. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I run my fucking country. That's so funny. Ratioed. Uh, hold this ratio. No, L. My, like, favorite, fuck my favorite you thing you if you is, say that shit. It'll be like something. You go to jail if you steal a meme. It'll be something and it'll. <laughs> yeah, make it an NFT basically. Yeah, That's if I have like, a president. S- something will happen. And someone will respond and be like, W guy, L yeah. girl. Like, <laughs> Stupid fucking shit. Or like, or like comments. they like use your name and like replace the first letter with like a W or yeah. an L. If you do that, that's that's Lion, 40 years. Lion yeah. Lalix. <laughs> Fuck you people. If you're one of those people, log off right now. So, uh, ratio. I'm ratioing Alex right now. <laughs> Bro, that's 10 years. <laughs> In the oh. federal, too. L, <laughs> yeah, dude. L plus ratio. You're going to Guantanamo one Bay. Here. One final article from the New York Post. Mm. One of the oldest publications started by, I think, Alexander Hamilton. Out with a bang. December Alexander. 27th, 2021. NASA hired 24 theologians to study human reaction to aliens. Yes, now we're getting Ooh. into it. Mm-hmm. This is, I thought, was the best one to end on. Sabo brought this up <laughs> earlier tonight. So what do you think? What were uh, what were you saying earlier about this article that like kind of piqued your interest? I guess just the fact that they have to hire people to like speculate on what people are gonna think. Here's what like, I'm saying. One, it's first a red of all, flag. Like, it's already been kind of like confirmed, basically, right? Like, yeah, we there's, know. There's UFOs, hundred percent, and they have to come from somewhere, and they have to come from some kind of living being, aliens. Like, why are we speculating? Like, yeah, religion. Okay. Yeah, they have to hire theologians because. <clears throat> The People are gonna have like a little crisis. Because the existence of an alien defeats like ninety nine percent of all religions on Earth. So like, <laughs> have to figure I mean, out how we're gonna deal with that. The biggest thing is like being created in his image, but like <coughs> that could just make us bipedal. Yeah, we don't have to look like him. Here's what I'm yeah. saying: is they're slowly, they're like, um, they're tapering us off yeah. of not believing that there's aliens to fully believing that aliens and like integrating it like it's right, a slow right. tape but i hate the slow like, because like what's their because agenda they went, the, like last year when that stuff came out in the summer that like about area 51 and confirming ufos and nasa like confirming yeah, the that pentagon report yeah, yeah. and, the, yeah, and yeah, that's right. the nothing burger outside of the fact that they acknowledge that ufos or as they call them uaps exist exist yeah yeah, yeah right and and they changed the terminology for what because they want to confuse people. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Because, yeah, exactly. So they're, but like, why are they trying they're to slowly people tapering us off. Because like- then now, like, they're just going to casually be like, oh, yeah, well, we have had this, like, alien body that we've been studying for 10 years now. But it's not a big deal because, like, we haven't blah, blah, blah. Like, something like that. I'm not saying that's going to happen. But, like, they're just going to slowly wean us off, yeah. like, not believing. It seems like to that's be, the like, direction they're going They're going to make though. it seem extremely normal that we're about to deal with aliens. But like, no, yeah. say about to answer your question, like, they're doing the bare minimum. Like, they, right. they're, because they don't, they, they're getting a lot of pressure from the public, from, like, people in Congress um, that have been pressuring them to release this information. But at the same time, they don't want to release the information for, you know, tons of different reasons so they're just kind of but like why hire them across and, then... and just dropping like and dropping <clears throat> different terms and things to kind of lead people off the scent but at the same time have you know meet the quotas that they're you know being kind of pushed into meet, you know yeah. doing yeah so it's kind of like, like i why hire them and then make an article about hiring them it kind of defeats the purpose of the whole speculation part if people are yeah. uh, like being exposed to like that you know you mean like what are you, you're you're asking like why would they write the article about the theologians? Yeah, like why tell people that we're gonna hire these people to speculate on it, and then people are just gonna react to that because that's pretty telling of what they know. Right, and, and, and I don't think people were supposed to find out. Maybe I don't know. Well, that's a pretty shitty leak. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. if it's a leak, like, I think come a, on, NASA. something happened no, this too. This was actually it was a report from the University of Cambridge. Something happened too recently where NASA. Like licensed or purchased Google, like they're working with Google to, search engine, yeah, search yeah. engine to work yeah. with the search engine to they're like what spa- to try and um, like interpret like alien language or something or yeah, yeah. Oh, how to what? communicate with them yeah what like really exposing. how to communicate yes. like, yeah. very exposing or something like that. damn I'm so trying to find it do you that's think, heavy man do you think we our government has interfaced with aliens. Yes. At all. Yes. Probably. Yes, I think so. Probably. I think so. I think so. I think I think we've gotten to the point like technologically like where okay, so like they 
uh, let us know about all all the crazy telescopes, like the like the Hubble telescope. Right. Like they let us know about that, so they have even like three times crazier shit that they won't tell us about. Yeah. And so I I mean I think that like probably they have some uh, maybe not like a like a a stream of communication, but like maybe. They're DMing back. No. <laughs> yeah, no, they're on Twitter probably. Yo, what's they good? Yeah. Spaces. Yo, what's no, good? No, I think, I think, though, so I, think though, I think, I think, I think, I think at the very least they've, they've made, they've made contact. When should we attack? <laughs> Dude, and that's the question, like, you think like them subtly dropping about how like there's other habitable planets for us Softening the blow. Like, yeah. maybe there's living beings there? Well, yeah, hopefully, that'd be sick. Found, like it's a stretch for that'd sure. That'd be sick. They found, no, they found, like, I hope they fucking come in this basement right now. They found, though, out there, if you like really Earth. think about it, it's not really a stretch. Like, it, they found a so lake. much out there. They found right a now. lake on Mars, like, or something. Not Mars. No, it, it was, it was uh, like no. an old, it was like dried up. But like, it used to be a lake. No, I'm pretty sure they found or, a no, lake, like, like an underneath, ocean, an ocean. underneath, like, um, ice somewhere. Or, like, deep inside one of the planets. I don't think Well, no, yeah, like, we've... But like, like we've the fact known, that there's water. We've known there used to be water on Mars. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We've known so there used to be water. How about, yeah, isn't there like but a like, theory that like Mars is basically the result of like all out nuclear warfare? Yeah. Dude, I Yeah, and that Mars yeah, used to I, be inhabited by humans. Uh, yeah. yeah, I've heard that I've theory heard that. where like And that's why Mars where is now people, trying to go back. It's his home planet. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, like now like humans are like He's are like are like longing for the stars because like we're actually not from Earth originally. We're like, homesick. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Like that's like the conspiracy. Like we actually used to be from Mars. We're refugees. Yeah, we're right. Yeah, like that's like a, that's a theory. Yeah. Possible. Boys got I, I think it is possible and because maybe, because like like, what, the... like when when humans go into space, uh, like your like circadian rhythm actually calibrates to the uh, the days on Mars, like twenty six or like twenty seven hour days Yo, or whatever. What? Yeah. Really? Yes. That's yeah. Nuts. Isn't that crazy? I learned that shit from ancient aliens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then yeah, Aliens. so like it's actually some interesting information in there. Like yeah, it's a lot yeah, of no, fluff, it's, it's up to kind of be. It's a great show. Like, I love that show. I I've, I've seen almost there every is some episode. Some good information about, and I think that's the thing. Like looking back at like pr you know primitive like humans and like the you know our ancestors is like the key because like I feel like we've been interfacing, and this is just kind of my belief of just like a lot of things I've read and seen, and you know that is what it is. But like uh, you know my kind of theory, I guess you could say, is that like you know humans have just like. You know, the whole idea that like, well, what was I gonna say? Like, with, like basically humans like, uh, in like, I'm trying to I'm trying to like <coughs> remember what I said. Bro, the pyramids. Oh yeah, no, I remember. That. So the pyramids actually reminded me because that's really. Oh, like, uh, I was just joking. Humans throughout time. Here's what I'm trying to get to. <clears throat> humans throughout time like have been interfacing with aliens. Like this is what my kind of my theory is that we've been interfacing with aliens like for thousands of years. Yeah. Like, and that's what a lot of, like, you know, the, and that's kind of where Ancient Aliens points to. Is there's like a lot of, like, there's the, some data for that, dude. Like, there's some data. The, and, like, a, they communicated through the stars. And, like, yeah, yeah, through, yeah. Like, times of the year, you know. And I'm not necessarily thinking it's, like, you know, like, aliens came down on a ship and, like, shook her hands. Like, I think it was much more, like, on a spiritual, like, interdimensional level than, like, on a, like, tangible, like, oh, they showed up and, like. You think right. psilocybin has a way, has a way to communicate? Like I think if anything, that'd be like acid. Like an alternate, like a fourth dimension or something like that? Kind of, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, sure. like interfacing through that. Like, messaging. Bro, like I bet the aliens planted like mushrooms on our planet so they could to talk to us. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know. That's what I think, like... I no, I... Like, I, like, I uh, kind of explains, like, a lot of the spirituality of, like, the former tribes. That's kind of what I was trying to get to before my mind clogged up. But, like, yeah, is that basically, like, the older, like, civilizations, like, they were on yeah. something. Yeah. Like, no, Jones, like, really a lot of people say... But, uh... He would say how, like, they would do tests on people in, like, Area 51 and stuff, make them do, like, a shit ton of LSD mm -hmm. and, like, yeah, uh, yeah, psilocybin yeah. in order to reach that other dimension and, like, communicate and, like, I mean, it's supposedly from Alex well, Jones. That'd yeah. be DMT, that, though. Yeah, DMT. That'd be DMT. Yeah, they, they like, communicated with them. Fuck too. DMT. Like, that's insane. Yeah. And then, like, there's, like, <laughs> portals. Yeah. Like, like, conspiracy. Afghan Afghanistan has, like, a portal to, like, uh... Communicate. Oh, I've heard, I've heard about that. Yeah, and that like, was like why and, the whole war in Afghanistan was a thing. It was so to deep. communicate I've, with the aliens. I've heard, uh, <laughs> maybe. I've Obviously, heard, that's right, like I've, wild bullshit. Hey, that but, area, I mean, that, that area is I've, very I've, ancient area. So, I've heard, I mean, it's, it's I've heard a theory where like all the areas in the in the world, like 
like high conflict areas are are like like there's like a like a deeper like conflict mm -hmm. about like some shit like that like where they're like they like like know that it exists but they can't like understand it mm -hmm. and so then like they're always fighting each other over that fact mm -hmm. but also i've heard another theory where all of the like all the religions we have on earth are a result of like alien visitors like way like like at the dawn of civilization. Right, and that's kind of what I'm getting yeah. at too. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, at. like people say, like, oh my god, an angel came down from the skies, and and he was wearing a, a metal suit right, of like, like wings that could maybe that was a fucking alien. Yeah, and like Ezekiel's wheel, like it's, yeah, you know, people think that's a, right. That, that was, was a UFO, that was a, like, a, a spaceship, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I wasn't the there, but like, there's a lot of strange, like you know, esoteric things in the Bible that people just think are like, oh, you know, they're just crazy old people right. all their time, like. But like maybe there's more to it, and you know we see a lot of weird stuff today, and like and I could see all you know, like the is different it that religions? strange to think like because you know, you're kind of taught right, like but you know believe the Bible and you know believe the messaging, but like that you know a lot of the stuff that's written in there is kind of you know made up. Yeah. Okay. So so it's like maybe it isn't like you know maybe there's like, more to that, it. But like with that, I could also see that all of like the religions today that we have here are like just different interpretations of the same story. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. right. Because yes, so yes, many yes. I've, I've, long, I've long thought that. The, yeah. the Abrahamic religions are all very similar. They're all the same. Like, Which is yeah. why, like, the 24 theologians, like, like there's right, one that God, could like, literally be, like, a thing. There's one God. Out. Everybody right, thinks of him differently. Similarities, different interpretations based off culture and the way that the word was spread because everything was word of mouth. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And everything, and think about it, like, all the stories were adapted to different the parts of the world. Like, yeah. you know, they would change names of cities around to kind of better, you know, uh, adapt to the Greeks. fit one culture. Yeah. Right, right. And, like, and, the language, the in, the translations get mm -hmm. lost. Yep. Like, just imagine, like, you hear a rumor about someone, imagine how, like, like the real story changes throughout, like, the different people that tell the story. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, know? the Dead right. Sea Scrolls. It gets filtered. It gets filtered stuff. Stuff. through. Yeah. Kind of like helped bridge the gap, but yeah, you could exactly, and like that's why a lot of that stuff gets mumbled up. Is like in that you get you know the versions that we have of those texts is because like yeah, you, like you said, like they're going to different times, places, and they're different languages and different cultures, and you kind of kind of adapt the story to that, and that's probably how all the you know Judaism and Christianity and Islam and all that kind of forms yeah. just through you know different cultures adapting the same kind of idea. So maybe you know. I think there's definitely more to it than meets the eye, you know, I don't think religion is just like the silly, you know, thing, the cult thing that, you know, a lot of people like think you know, they're, you know, on the outside looking in. I think there's just a lot of like spiritual, you know, history, I guess, behind it. Yeah. But I got yeah. a question. What? If I came to you guys and I said I was abducted by aliens, I had like a credible story. I like explained everything that happened. Would you guys believe me? Yeah, no. if you could. Yeah, if you. If, it depends on the story. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, no. Yeah. If like if, <laughs> if I if I if I had like a only, like a detailed explanation. Only if you got pro. And like <laughs> <laughs> you'd have to show me your butthole. To make <laughs> Bro, if my butthole was gaping wide open, <laughs> would you guys believe pancakes. me then? Would you guys have, believe me then? I would have no <laughs> choice. Pancakes, yeah. If you're proving pancakes, no, 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 like, I believe you. Like there's like those pool balls in like, there. Like, like have you, you guys heard that old story about the uh like the lumberjack guy? I forget his name, but. Um, like he got abducted by aliens, he says, and like all the guys in his crew like say like yeah like like gone. we were all in, like in the truck like like I watched the UFO come over and there was a beam of light and he was gone and then he showed up like five days later. Have like, you watched the phenomenon on Amazon? No, that Never that story's it. in it. I'm yeah, pretty sure. like if some shit like that happened to me, yeah. would you guys believe me? I mean, if if it was that scenario, we're like well we're with you. Yeah, maybe okay, maybe it's different then, but. Yeah, bro, I mean, that happened. That, that mean, happened. I, I got abducted by. Happen. I got abducted, man. Yeah. I'd <laughs> believe you. I'd share your story. All right, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Thank just you. making sure I was still recording. Yeah. We're good. Um, no, but yeah, I did watch the phenomenon. That was actually my top ten movies of twenty twenty. That was good. It was that good. Was really good. And it had like government officials. Yeah, too, yeah. Harry like, Reid, really? Senator Harry Reid. Yeah. Like Who? reliable, like reliable, sources. Like, nice. Yeah. yeah. The government in that's the what know. you need. Like, someone that spearheaded a project based on like aliens and UFOs. Dude, Harry that's, Reed, who was that's the, credible uh, then. He, that's he, credible. Denied it. He, he came out, he like was like admitting stuff. And then like all of a sudden he started denying everything. And then he retired yeah. from his position. And then all of a sudden after that, he was like, yes, this shit's real. No, he didn't retire. He got forced out. Well, yeah. Yeah. And then Senator Harry Reid, he was actually, you know, <coughs> politically kind of a, you know, corrupt guy, but from you know outlooks but what he did for the ufo movement was huge like you know in the sense of like 
you know, he really put a lot of pressure on the Pentagon and places like that to, you know, come out about UFOs. And he was in the documentary. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, when he talks about it, you could definitely tell that he, he has intel on it. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, you could tell. Like, like so shout like out to voice. rest in peace, Harry Reid. You know, and disagreed with him politically, was, uh, but in that there was that one school. I think in it was in Africa, like in Nigeria, maybe. They like all these grades, like elementary school kids, like super young. They had like this experience with the UFO. The coming same down story, and landing, yeah. Same story, and yeah. then they they interviewed them when they were young, and then like years later, they're all like out of school, working their jobs, and they interview them again, and they all have still the same exact story. <laughs> Damn, snooze. Yeah, snooze. Glad he's Marcus entertained. <laughs> what's you, what's you guys' uh, like closest call uh, to something like like UFO? supernatural I mean, or I like I saw a, a anything UFO like flying, that? Um, you just had a video recently. Oh yeah, that was the video I posted. I did ask it a couple from times. Cincinnati. So close. <laughs> but dude, yeah. there's a, there's been You're a lot much of UFO there. sightings in Ohio because of yeah. you know uh, right the, at Patterson the Air Force, Air Force Base, is, which is right near in your Dayton. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I I saw actually what I thought was a UFO, and and, and it was it came too insane. close to my it came too close to my car to be like a like a, a plane, but like it was far thing. enough away that like you know you could only see like the lights from below it, but like I saw it for like a second. It could have just been a shooting star, but I don't know. Damn. Yeah, I, I saw uh, something go by, and I was like, and and it was it was like slow enough, like it wasn't going like fast like a shooting star. It was just like kind of gliding over, and then it was gone. And like I saw like on I seventy five going down, and I was like. Holy fuck! I'm like, what? And I was like by myself. It was like I was coming home from a date actually in Dayton, and I, I was like, Dayton, holy Dayton. shit! I'm like, what was that? And I was like, that could not have been a UFO. But I'm like, wait a minute! I'm like really close to Wright Patterson. I'm like, oh my god! Like, yeah, maybe, no, maybe got, not. Who knows? You know, maybe they it was got just experiments nothing, you know? going it, all the time. Over right? There. It could have just been nothing. And didn't but, the formation of the lights though change while you were looking at it? Oh no, that video I posted. Yeah, that was not for me. That was from oh. somebody else. No, oh, okay. Yeah, but they it was in Cincinnati, mm -hmm. but. Uh, yeah, I probably should have made that more clear, but <laughs> <laughs> I sent it to a friend. I was like, "Yeah, my friend videotaped." Oh, damn, just don't tell him the truth. You can just but... hear the, the yeah, the women are in there in the video. They're but yeah, they I took figured it. that was the girl. They were like in the grocery them. store and they were coming out. <laughs> and they saw like four like lights like that in the sky and they were like up there like together and then like they flickered out and then they came right back out and then they flickered out again and they were gone. But they and got they talked about yeah, dude, like, there's a, a lot of weird like, shit like that going on. on. And then yeah, they're gone. and that's the thing. But we've seen, I've seen videos of them in lines. I've seen videos of them in triangles like that. Like you know, it's weird. Like they, it's almost like, and I think a lot of those lines that we spot are man-made. Yeah, I think they're made yeah, here on Earth. Definitely, and they're they're maybe done to replicate and almost reverse engineer, you know, alien ancient alien technology. Yeah, because they have one. Right, mm -hmm. I think they have like actual <laughs> they have a, alien they technology. Have a and they're just trying to reverse engineer it, like, <clears throat> you know. And like I and I think that like that's kind of what we're seeing like with the they're almost like running drills like in the sky like to kind of right. practice like you know using the technology I guess or who knows or maybe they use them for surveillance I don't know who knows but you know it's interesting and I think that there's I don't think that they're aliens the ones that we're seeing but I think there's something alien about them maybe I don't know or they're just lights in the sky but I have a hard time believing that because you're seeing a lot of them. And you're even seeing like in some of the videos, like uh, like secure teams posting, like Jeremy Corbell and like a lot of those mm -hmm. guys are posting, like that. You know they are they're kind of convincing, but you know, and like a lot of the stuff that gets blurred out. Too, it's the stuff that they try to hide as well. That like also the hiding it makes it the most right. right. That makes Sketchy. it very telling as well. Like you know the moon bases mm -hmm. theory, you know, because like the moon stuff's blurred out. And like I even brought this up in the Antarctica podcast, and I was like, you know. Why is Google Earth, you know, blurring out these spots in Speaking Antarctica? Of Antarctica, though, another, what? Another theory that I saw was that ancient humans, like some like cataclysmic event happened, and we had to like literally restart. So, like the theory is that Atlantis is real and it's in Antarctica. Oh fuck yeah! Because a bunch of shit happened, like mankind forgot everything, and that our problem isn't aliens; it's amnesia. I hope that's true, bro. That that's awesome. That's a cool fucking theory. Oh, uh, yeah. I hope that's I'm true. I'm under the impression Atlantis is real. I gotta find this, real. like, account. This account All right, you've Plato, heard it here Plato first. Plato said that Atlantis was real. You've heard it here first on the TJ Martino podcast. We are not alone in the galaxy. We are pro Atlantis. We are not alone. And we're pro we're, Atlantis here. We are we're pro, pro Atlantis. We're pro Atlantis, anti-cuck. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I think that the, the Atlantis theory is definitely really interesting because, like, there is a lot of historical, like, documentarians over the years that yeah. have said Atlantis is real. But again, imagine know. fucking rent in Atlantis, bro. Like, you think New York City is bad, dude? 
So but, like, we're, they you're probably we're, paying five k for a studio in Atlanta right in now, United dude. States. Like it used to be the almost like the bridge continent <clears throat> in between. Yeah, bro. It was, the it was Cleveland. Time, you know? It was Cleveland. And another. Big, I heard. It was Cleveland. It was, Cleveland. It was, <laughs> it was right. It was. <laughs> What was it was Atlantis? present. It was present day Cleveland. Yeah. Actually. What was Atlantis? Is now modern day Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> actually, Solon. Actually, it was Solon. I think. Hey, so. no, but check out Coast to Coast AM official on TikTok. They got like little videos and shit about like aliens and mm-hmm. all that stuff. It's just mind blowing. Even if it's not real, like it's interesting to look at. Yeah. No, that shit's fun. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's always it's fun. Like the existential question: Are we alone? You know, is there? No, we ain't. And I've asked I really just don't believe in the vast universe of everything. If it's infinitely expanding, there's no fucking chance that we're alone. Yeah, bro. If anything, there's more Yeah, Earths. it doesn't work like and that. And like humans. It's, like even mathematically, it's like impossible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there was just a UFO spotted uh, on New Year's Eve in Columbus uh, the other day. You, uh, uh, here's an article from The Mirror. Triangle UFO with cloaking abilities returns to Earth. On New Year's Eve. Yeah, they wanted to see the, the new year for us. Yeah, here's the image. Send us off on a good note, you know? Here's the image. I'll, I'll pull it up for everybody else to see it on the podcast. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that's what people saw. And they're like, what is this glowing light? So. Not a star. It's crazy, man. <laughs> it was. It's not, yeah, it was, it's not a star. Because they move. They, yeah. they move like too far to be a star. It was Ray. It was Ray in the sky, bro. Ray? Yeah, Ray. Ray, who? Ray from Star Wars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who's Ray? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that Ray. Yeah. Bro, she's coming down to Earth. I fixed your entire plane, huh? Yeah. <laughs> By myself, even though I've never been in it before. I fixed her UFO. Dude, it was the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> All you had to do was do this, you stupid idiot. Why didn't you fix the hyperdrive? Yeah, dumbass yeah, Han Solo. Like, oh. <laughs> He's like, why don't you work for me, huh? And I'm like, (laughs) talk about a movie that did not age well. What? Force Awakens. Oh yeah, yeah. I loved it when I first saw it. I I I drank the Kool Aid on it for sure, and then like the more I saw it, I was like, this is just not original (laughs) at all. Yeah, dude. It's episode four. And I hated how Snape. And it's episode four and six put together. Yeah. And it's like the worst, like most generic parts of both of (laughs) them. The most repeatable shit. Yeah. Isn't that crazy, though? They just are like, now they've gotten so lazy with all that sh- stuff, man. It's yeah, bro. Like, how about, how about, how about movies, bro? Yeah, someone said movies are going downhill, all about bro. The multiverses right now. Right. Yeah, I mean, dude. Like, they want to, they well, want no, Spider Man was awesome, though. Oh, it was dope, but then, like, I hate sweet. the memes about all the different Hulks. Like, fuck Hulk. I don't give a shit. Yeah, and I, yeah. And I don't then, care about that's all the thing, the like, Hulk. the MCU is just like, and I said this like kind of my spider. Ant Man and Wasp, bro. Never seen I don't those. Watch that fucking movie. They just don't. <laughs> I don't think it has the legs. Like for the, I think it's gonna be you know on the big downturn in the next five years. Like I don't think it's gonna last much. Because they're shredding well, they're, through it all. Like, even bro, if you think I'm watching money, Wanda because Vision, so you're crazy. That's what they have in five years though. Remakes. Right. Oh yeah. Right. They no. just no. buy themselves Sequels. enough time stop to live bring... action reboots and remakes. Yes. Stop, stop live action reboots and remakes. Cowboy Bebop did not work. They canceled it after the first season. It was like out for what like two that? weeks. Clifford the Big Based Red off Dog. Based on the anime, they made a live action on oh. it. Oh. Uh, really I, I don't fuck with anime. I don't fuck with anime. I fuck with anime. Clifford the Big D's nuts. No, dude. All my friends like anime. I just I just can't get into it. Well, you need better recommendations. No, I've I've gotten the good recommendations. I just they just no, you haven't. Full Metal Alchemist. Hated it. Really? I honestly did. I mean, I didn't hate it. I didn't like it. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Really good. Yeah, no, I I can't, I can't get into it. Hunter, Hunter. Watch? I watched the first, like, four episodes. That's your problem. I can't get into it. Like, I, like, I watch it, and I just, like, cringe. It's probably, like, a yeah. racist thing. That but also, yeah, dude, I'm also, probably, I, I, I will I, say. I hate Japanese people, <laughs> bro. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, no, but I will say this. The voice actor, the English voice actor for the main character in Attack on Titan, I do not enjoy him. Really? I do not like him. Like, I watched it in sub uh, season four because it wasn't out in dub yet. And I was like, oh my God, this is so much better. Hold on. Yeah, my cousin you was were, watching it. You an anime you watch, guy, TJ? Did no, you watch. Yeah, I didn't think did you, you would. Did you watch Squid I Game? I respect it. Did you watch <laughs> Squid Game dubbed or. I watched it. Oh, oh, I watched it. Here's, here's the, here's the grand dubbed. debate. I didn't, I didn't care. Is dubbed the English I, one? Dubbed yeah. is dub, where they dub, record dub over it. Yeah. yeah. So sub okay. just stands but, for subtitles. But the words don't match at all. Like okay. the mouths don't match at I all. I listened. Yeah, because they're speaking I Korean. Did the English, I know, but it's I just, did the English like, version, and yeah, I, too, I noticed it for 10 minutes, and then I didn't. The, Money the, heist. That's where that's what their voices were from, from that I point hate, on. I, I, I didn't care. I couldn't watch Money Heist. People I talked to were like, 
Oh, you can't watch a dub. You have to watch it with yeah, the subtitles. Yeah, I will the say fucking this, hardos though, might I will be say like this, that. Though, about the dub and the sub of Squid Games is that a lot of the translation got lost in dub. Yeah. So like a lot of like the like what is it like the phrases? How that does are, like, it get common? lost yeah, yeah. in dub because and it's, not it's in easy subtitles? To say a lot more because words we don't know, you know the phrases in like the what is it like. Yeah, and like they have vernacular. slang and different, you know, things. Yeah, that we don't know the vernacular. Yeah, thing yeah the vernacular. Rob's yeah. mania for the big word. Rob's mania is just big vocabulary. Vernacular. Big vocabulary. We're gonna piss test him in the morning. <laughs> Rob, Rob, this, who, who's in Rob's body right now, right here? <laughs> Rob, what PEDs are you on to spell vernacular right now? Rob, dude, you, <laughs> fucking 40 milligram Adderall with this guy over here. <laughs> Yo, it's, sir, can I get a claw? It's 1.50 in Yo, the morning and Rob just said the smartest thing I've ever heard him say. This is like Matrix. Matrix came out terrible. Like, I, I agree. The, they're remaking it. all Thank these you. movies and, like, it's like they're just trying to get a quick, quick crash, crash grab, grab and that's it. And it's yeah. like, but when you do that, you're just wearing out the IP. You're wearing out all the intellectual property you're spending all this money on. That's like, what they're doing Disney to spent everything. $74 billion on no. books and now they're just trying to... Was that actually the number? Off. Guess what's it, sacred? No way. No, was that the number? Nothing is sacred. $71 billion. That is... You know what's absurd? Sick? And now, yep, seventy-one billion dollars. And now they have is to that try, the big, they, they have to that's try the, to make that money. That back. has to be the biggest deal of all time. Stop well, remaking. That has to be the biggest deal of all time. I, like, hey, like, I know, know my I shit, but I never heard about that. Though, though Avatar, the Last Airbender. That'd be huge. Oh, that'll be dope. I think that's gonna be terrible. I saw some of the cat. I think it's yeah, gonna maybe. suck too. Yeah, I mean the first movie. The first movie of the live action. Stop live action remakes. Yeah, for real. Bro, they did that shit with they the fucking suck. Lion King. Like, what is wrong with the original animated series? It's literally one of the Nothing. best Nothing. Because you know what's wrong with it? Anime. No. You they, know what's wrong with it? Avatar? It's not. Because of this, I mean, Avatar's sick. There's, I mean, some there's Pokemon one, just got banned on Twitch for streaming Avatar, so that was There's sick. one thing that's no, wrong no. with the the animated version. It's not making them money anymore. Yes. So there they have go. to remake it to go. refresh it, and people can be like, Oh, I I love that. Let me go watch this. And yeah, I they I watch remember, it, I remember and they're probably that. like, "Oh, it's terrible," but guess what? They watched it, right? And it's trending, and it's making money. It's yeah, cheap, and but guess like, the thing what? is, they're so they're gonna do that. What do yeah. what do movie production companies do? They try and make money by producing movies. What are they gonna like? I get that. It's, yeah, it's You're clickbait not make money type doing style. This, this lifestyle. This is make money. we've been heading. Long, yeah, but like, we've been heading this way. In for years and for years and years. years yeah. For years and years. Right, but like Since just clickbait like clickbait became a thing. Make a good yeah. movie though. That's right. why we don't That's have like make a good make like good. story. No one like, will do it anymore. Think of something. Right. How about like, no one makes good movies anymore? Like like I'll think of some shit for you. Like pay me a hundred million dollars. Tarantino. Like yeah, I'm not he's Quentin Tarantino. Much done. I could think of a good idea though. Like yeah, bro, I should. Dude, all right. I'm like, announcing don't right look now, up is the I will be the next closest thing we have to an actual real movie. Don't that, look up. Sucks. That's just a complete. Dick. Yeah, it sucks, bro. Dude, it was it was it was a metaphor for uh, yeah, for COVID. And for global. You guys pick up climate, on that? It's really and more for, for climate, climate change. It was a meta change, Yeah, it, it's a metaphor for COVID and climate <laughs> and climate change. It was a, it's it was, for the same. It was a political movie, which is the worst. I I hate. I fucking hate that shit and then also it like too, it was one of those movies where they had like a uh, like fake tweets about the movie like popping up like on the on the screen i thought it like, was good i just thought it was i hate right. i hated it i hated it a lot i hated it a lot i just like obviously the idea it's got is a good. star-studded cast it's that's just for sure. like it wasn't well, yeah. that doesn't you know. no i know but like it just was too it's always silly. good to like watch I just thought Leo, it got like, way too silly yeah it was yeah, so dumb. It was just, like, yeah also I it was lazy by making the government like incompetent but it's like, right to right make them that dumb it was, it was actually actually a third story. thing, yes. a third metaphor. I it agree. was also about capitalism, because like, uh, uh, oh, yeah, the, cause you get the because the guys, guy yeah, in. yeah, because the guy's company was supposed to be Amazon, and yeah. and and he's like talking about, oh yeah, like we're gonna we're gonna mine the comet for like 140 trillion dollars, like whatever, like it was just lazy. There was, was no lazy character fuck, depth. It was stupid as all fuck. of a sudden, Leonardo's it. spoiler. All of a sudden, Leonardo's character is banging the the cnn host yeah, or whatever. right yeah like, there's no characters of, there's no character development yeah, they came out of yeah. nowhere just, like, you're, like you barely like, know anything about this guy you think he's like somewhat of a wholesome nerd yeah, like professor yeah. and then all of a sudden he's banging he the CNN host. like a bug out and you're just like what is going on here like this yeah, is, it is stupid everything stupid moves super fuck. fast and Move whatever dick. it's not People are like, oh, you didn't understand it. It's like, no, it's a very easy movie to understand. It it. No, it is. It's, it just ob- isn't, it's so obvious. It's not challenging at all. It's, it's not preachy. It's, it's, it's just they, like 
They South couldn't shove it down your throat any It's like harder. South Park actually, the movie, but no, not as way funny. Worse. It's like, thing, way if, worse. If they would have actually gave more depth to why the government is the way they are, it, it would have been such a better movie, and it would have been much more easier to, like, empathize and, you know, understand, like, Jonah Hill and Meryl Streep and all that, and, like, uh, you know, the Amazon Bro, and all Hill that, but, like, once they just off. make them all just, like, you know, oh, we're just dumb and evil and yeah, blah, blah, right. it's like, and what's, well, that's not was, really the Was reason. Meryl Streep the president? Yeah, she's supposed yeah, to be like the yeah. Trump, you know. Right, yeah, yeah, the Trump, exactly. She's and then Trump. no, no, but then she's it was about Trump. it was about COVID very because obvious. because the uh because it was it was her uh I being Trump and she's like supposed to like downplay the whole Trump. big like issue in the world. Like it was so fucking stupid. Yeah. Well no, it's both. Yeah, it's both at the same time. And like, dude, like just make just make a just make a movie. Well, that's the thing. Like, What's the best movie? Don't bring of the in year? like real shit about oh, like twenty twenty one? What's the most popular one in the box? I was gonna office? say I can't tell you what my Spider Man. Is, Spider Man is the most popular one. It was one. Spider Man. Yeah. It was so it was a, the a superhero movie is the most popular like No, dude, it was We're no. not getting but that movie did We're not numbers. getting authentic. Nobody goes to the fucking movie theater to watch. I went to the theater, but I yeah. went to the theater and watched Spider Man. Yeah, no, I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Uh, 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 don't yeah. look up. Like nobody's yeah, yeah, gonna yeah. go to a. No, theater. No, it was a Netflix like, movie. I know that, but yeah. I'm saying nobody's gonna go to a theater. No one's and be like, making. Yeah, preach to me about what our society no one's is like, making. How uh, a, no one's making. Nobody's in, going to pay for that. No one's making Inglorious Bastards or like right, a, a right. serious movie a, along those a, lines. A good movie. I'm fine with a movie being political and being. Yes, but it has to. Be I'm not. I hate it. That one I, hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Here's, it. here's how I'd sum up Don't you know? Look Up is like, yeah, it's like too much fucking, of a big uh, satirical piece of shit. Yeah, right? it's a piece of shit. It's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> yeah, pile it's of insane. shit of Are satire. Are you Hancock right now? Yeah, yeah, Hancock, yeah. Hancock's been on you were for just like talking an hour. About, no, I know. I, well, no, that's I meant that's to bring why we mentioned I meant to bring it up earlier. Yeah. And Focus is up next. Yeah. Oh, shit. The TBS is a little special, I guess. As soon as you bring up, as soon as the movie has the, has the fake tweets about the movie, I I am I am just a, I'm an enemy I'm an yeah. enemy after that dude like I gotta tell you about a that. show that has some good fake and dude you would uh, hate the tweets. Matrix Four then because well, that no, was so like that can, movie like tried funny. to be like overtly meta like uh, just tried to be like overtly like oh look at us we're making a remake like yeah. we're doing another sequel but like you can't just do that and then excuse yourself of all of your you know, shitting on the other movies. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Well, seen, you have I've to acknowledge it. Matrix. You have to. I've who's making? That's only the one that's worth watching. Who's also. making that's the originals now? Like, who's making the original movie right. that's getting right. sequel? Nobody. Like, nobody. The, nobody. Marvel's Marvel's just doing that's the issue. Out there, like, how are you gonna make it ori an original? Like, everything. Think of something. Right. You literally just think of something. That's that how we got Harry Potter because they thought of something after seeing Star Wars. Okay, we're not. We've already brushed it off of seeing other things too. Like, you know, like Inception, like. That was dope. No one's making right. a where's, serious where's movie Nolan? like that. Where's Nolan, That's just like bro? Intergalactic. Where's, where's, where's Tenet, which was like... Yeah, not Tenet good. was like good. A, I like Tenet. Deception. It was a mess. It was a mess, but it was sweet. I thought it was fucking cool as fuck. It was the most... Conf it was way more confusing than fucking... Um, Dude. What was that movie? What was it? Inception, yeah. Matthew McConaughey and I think... Interstellar? Sandra Bullock? It was like... Inter Interstellar. Interstellar. Yeah, yeah, Interstellar was awesome. That was a good movie. So the one thing I did yeah. see was like... When they're on the one planet, where like every second, <laughs> every second, every, every second, 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 second is like a certain amount of years. So yeah. In the, yeah, and you hear it, but yeah, you don't you know it, that. But you yeah. know, it's like yeah. a year, whatever. Ten years. And the waves, the yeah. waves. Yeah, have, Dude, that uh, shit importance. Is so nice. That shit was cool. cool. Yeah, and the guys like old as fuck when they get back to the ship. Well, his family. No, that was a. That was a brain fuck right but, there. Austin, I think you're right. Like, there isn't cool any movie. originals being made anymore. There's no one's no, making like, those. You know, yeah, because you know that's what the thing. The like, Marvel's are? like the only thing that's close. <laughs> that's and, like, why the box office is dead. They're time before they can get Chris Evans and Downey Jr. and all those guys back. Like, that's really what they're doing right now. They're just buying themselves enough time to... To, to get to that point where those guys want to come back and do more movies. Like, no one's yeah. doing... That's, but, like, that's you want to know really what the original content the future, is? The past? Well, no, the, the box office is dead because everything's on everything's on, on like Hulu and HBO now. Like, no, the original releasing fucking content on... is an anime. <sighs> Anime? Yeah, anime's got. That's yeah, not, mo it's not movies, though. They make movies. And manga yeah, but is nobody, outside it's like, American comics. It's not comics. Like a big deal, it's like, though. It's not a big deal for you. Not manga, for, like, there's a lot of new shit coming manga's out. Manga's outselling American comics right now. They're outselling Marvel and DC. Bro, Demon Slayer really? movie just came out recently. No way. A little they bit. Are. Jujutsu Kaisen movie just came out, doing huge numbers yeah. internationally. Oh, yeah. Dude, America is getting really big on like, and they should because there's a lot of great stories. You're right. The stories are amazing. Yeah, the uh, stories you don't need are to rely on actors for uh, portraying certain emotions because you can just draw it. Yeah. 
And then the emotion just comes from the voice actors portraying what they have to say. Yeah, there's so much And that's style so much easier like, to say without them, like, staring at you while you're doing it. Yeah, there's so exactly. much style. And, and like, the style you know, is all different based off of the artist. Making... Only the good ones are getting animated because they're all start off as manga or, like, comic books, basically. To put it in, like, American yeah. terms. Like, this yeah, very true, very true. Who's making a pursuit of happiness? Like... Real movies Who the like fuck that. Wants another pursuit of happiness. I'm not saying it's <laughs> too. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. But like, those like movies movie. are dead. There's not real, yeah. authentic movies anymore. I agree. It's, it's all, all remakes. Sappy. Yeah, bro. 2022 is the end of cinema. Movies or just Didn't black, Martin's black Martin's mirror say shit. Something about like how the Marvel yeah. universe shit's gonna phase out real soon. I think oh so too. yeah. They've burnt. They burnt their candle down. Is there a Phase Five? We're on I'm phase sure, four. We're on I'm phase four. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. We're in the very beginning stages of phase four. I mean, though, there's I 12 say, Fast and Furious. Is. I mean, right. That shit is so <laughs> fun. Fuck gonna that. Be space. <laughs> it literally is. It needs to be. Bro, Fast Five was the GOAT. After Fast Paul Five Walker was died, the GOAT movie really of all of all the Fast really and Furious. Yeah. I think that was the that last one that I actually like saw. Yeah, dude. It's been a long day. Without yeah, you, that, movie made, that was like the last one to make a billion dollars, and that was really because yeah. people wanted to see what they would do with Paul Walker. Like, yeah. dude, it wasn't dude. really because people were like, "Oh, I need to see Fast and Furious." 7. I've never like, seen the Fast and Furious. When I tell you this stat right now, figure shit out this time. Like, when I tell you this stat, Dom Toretto gonna do Spider this Man. Yeah. Yo, this new Spider Man movie was the third fastest movie ever to reach a billion dollars in profits. Right. And Which is was, crazy as fuck. And there was no like, you know, it was it was like it was like it was like just, Star Wars and the Avengers, well, the only ones end faster. Game, end, game. end game, yeah, it was it was like Episode Seven and then um and then End Game. The, the only movie faster to make a billion not dollars. Even, Disney's making like a, a small percentage off that movie. That's a Sony movie. Sony I, is making the majority no, I, of the box office I, revenue off that I, money. Off I that wouldn't movie. I wouldn't say a small percentage. They're making yeah they're making they're making like thirty percent. Disney no, I think it's more than that. Oh, no, uh, yeah, they are. Uh, they're making like I think it's under fifty. That. They're making under fifty. Really? Because mm-hmm. well, Sony owns mm-hmm. Spider Man. Right? Yeah, it was that just, huge deal. They're lending yeah. it to Disney, and what, they're, and oh, what the shit. thing is is like, if, oh, if oh, Sony yeah, wants, yeah, yeah, Spider Man. I thought you were talking about. I thought you were talking about the Avengers, dude. I was oh, like, no, I'm oh just my talking god, Spider Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but yeah, like, but Sony, like, if they want to take Spider Man away, all they have to do is snap of a finger, and he's exactly. They got the video games now, and Disney can't do anything about it. Disney and that and he's their biggest character in the MCU right now. Like nobody's really that excited about Doctor Strange. Like yeah, yeah but I mean, people are. But like it's yeah, not no like one gives Spider-Man. a fuck. No it's one gives a like, fuck about like, yeah. Thor. Like it's not like after a after Spider-Man. Iron Man is dead. Uh, spoiler: After Iron Man fucking died, no one gives a fuck right. about it's anybody really else really. Point, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> no, dude, I was. <laughs> dude, <laughs> yeah, was, that movie uh, made no money. Black Widow made no yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, come on. Shang Chi oh, lost money. money. Yeah, we like, got uh, we got we got fucking Scarlet Joe up? over what here. What we got coming up? We got Thor, I don't even know. Thor which nobody cares about. Okay. Dude, I I haven't Strange. even seen I haven't seen any Thor besides Strange. the first one, dude. Uh, and then you got you know the Marvels and She Hulk and all this other stuff, and it's like and like all the series that I've not, I've not liked any of the a, series. A girl Hulk? Yes. They're doing it. What is that, bro? I, I never heard about series. that. Here we go. I guess it is a comic series. I don't know. I, I, I'm yeah, not yeah, liking I that. Ronda Rousey's going to be the shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that. No casting. way. She already is. I heard it's going to be your fucking <laughs> mom, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. But no. Nah, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it'll be interesting. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, oh, here. Yeah, and I, I'm just looking through some of the stop live action reboots. They. Um, they were gonna make a Wedding Crashers sequel, and then they stopped it. Exactly. And what are we doing? They decided to make a Haunted Mansion sequel instead. Owen Wilson decided to make the Haunted Mansion reboot, and I said, "Stop the sequel to make a reboot." SMH. <laughs> yeah, Wedding Crashers is a great. Movie. Yeah, that sucks. That would have been awesome. Yeah. They're forgetting Sarah Marshall. Shout out too. Vince Vaughn. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. You guys got anything else you want to? I mean, sure. I can talk about. I think we've, I think we've day, discovered yeah. everything that we wanted to fucking <laughs> chat about. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, Simp, I, you've been awfully quiet back there. I know you got some shit you want to say. I don't know if Fargus. He's anything to add. <laughs> Fargus has Z's. Fargus is not. I, I added Fargus to the video roll, so we'll we'll have to find that later. You say if you don't got any speaking points that you want to bring up, any topics? I feel like you're a very opinionated person. <laughs> I don't think he wants to be opinionated on camera. You don't camera. want to be known. <laughs> and honestly, just crack the code. Exactly. <laughs> Simp wants to hold public office one day, so. Respect. Yeah. We got to keep him out of the... We got to hold off on the... Uh, 
chat. Videotaping. He's in a non for now. Meanwhile, I got four cans of beer that are all Yeah, we'll wait till Alex gets back, and I guess we'll just close He's going to have to uh, apologize for this in like 14 years. <laughs> yeah, no, I do apologize for everything that I said for anyone that uh, disagrees. <laughs> uh, to Austin Adams in 2035, I am sorry. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're doing well, though. I didn't know it was offensive to talk about Star Wars like that. Yeah. <laughs> You've been locked in jail for like hate speech boss. towards Star Wars. Yeah. Sorry, I'm missing out on this job. Right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, thank you guys for coming on. Thanks for having us, Teach. Yeah, of course. Thanks for the peanut gallery. For yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thanks to Ryan Anytime. For Anytime. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Thanks to Will. Yeah, yeah every shout time you come up, Marcus. We'll shout out to Simp. Shout out to shout out Will Smith. Z's in the house. Shout out to Bobby Z behind me. Um, yeah, I don't think you're Holy. Who cares? Uh, yeah, well... Uh, Shout out to everybody. Uh, headlines of the year. Hope not that was the cucks, a cool yeah. thing. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, not yeah, cucks. Not. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is an anti cuck podcast. Pro, anti cuck. Pro Atlantis. Pro, pro Atlantis. Antarctica, of course. <laughs> pro aliens. 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 Aliens are real. Pro aliens. And all the aliens watching. Anti yeah. remakes. Anti remakes. Reboots and live action and reboots. Terrible if, Hollywood. If you're an alien listening right now. All just come get me. In the, in the <laughs> come get me right now. I dare you. I dare you. Make, yeah. I dare make you to come get me. Story a reality. Yeah. Abduct Sabo's house and, right now. And just I remember, you. I won't believe him unless you probe him. So <laughs> we gotta fit a pool ball. You gotta probe him. You gotta put a pool ball in my butthole. At least an eight ball, and yeah. <laughs> but yeah, bro, the pyramids are fucking right. crazy, man. They are, dude. <laughs> pyramids. They are signals to the aliens. No, no. I actually saw a crazy video real quick about it. Um. How like this Aztec like uh, you know um, ritual area with this, like shaped like a circuit board? Where they slaughter somebody. Like a circuit board for that like powers like you know motors and stuff. Like I thought that was mind blowing. But anyway, yeah, look that up. Look up circuit boards in ancient cultures. Anyway, look up, uh, coast coast uh, look up cuts. Anybody? Anybody else have anything they want to plug or share? I don't know. Um, I mean, hell no. No. Okay. Nothing. If you I don't know. follow me already, I don't want you to follow me. Yeah. So fair enough. Yeah, you can follow me if you want. You yeah, find me though. I don't yeah, really find care. me. You gotta. Find I'm not me. really yeah. worth it. So. RJ Sabo. Yeah. <laughs> Sabo. Well, no, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys, for coming on. Thanks for all this. 2022 thanks. is a banger. It's don't be address me by my. Thanks for having us, Starting TJ. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having us. Get at me. Thank you, sir. And uh, yeah, tjmartino.com. All of this social media crap. Even though I, like I said, I don't like the platforms, but I use them for reach. Uh, so yeah check me out on all those and uh, yeah big year big things coming new Hito game series coming and uh, yeah more to come so thanks and that's and, a wrap and that's a wrap for episode and 42. let the beat drop <laughs>